Moving right along with the Opie and Anthony show. We got Jim Jeffries in studio playing Caroline's here in New York City uh, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. And Sunday, yeah. Very, very cool. 757-4100 is the number for tickets. Yeah, we're uh, we're hitting a lot of things right now. A lot of things. Talking about free speech. You got that free speech in Australia? Oh, I'm sure they do. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> they still get mild racism kicking on for years and years. I'm oh, sure yeah. they got free speech in Australia. Mm. Not in America. It's always handy. Free speech is going away in America. Wait, wait, wait. How have you lost it? What, what have you lost it? Ah, uh, yeah. You used to be able to say things on the radio. Uh, now you're not allowed to. There's this cloud of, of fear over everybody. Like, you still technically have freedom of speech because you can, uh, you have the physical capability yes. of saying anything yes. but the repercussions they used to just be debate you know people would then top you and and make you look silly for what you said and that's uh uh the repercussions but now the repercussions are you lose your job your yeah. livelihood there's this uh fear over everybody that what they say is going to get them in so much trouble that they you know, can end up uh Losing your house, your family, your no. They definitely have the everything. same problem in England. I don't know about Australia, but they definitely have the same yeah, problem in England. Yeah, just ridiculous. Let's uh, go to Dan in Wisconsin. Dan, hi, Dan. Good morning, boys. How are we doing? Are you a cheesehead? Yes, I, <laughs> I forgot am. about that. <laughs> He's a I cheesehead. You, I never expected to be able to say on the air that you guys are the absolute voice of reason when it comes to freedom of speech. But my God, even back when I was. was you know, getting fired, you yeah. even said on the air that you would defend Howard's right as much as it, you know, repulsed you to defend Howard if he got fired for something like that. And I just have to point out, you guys have been the most consistent position of anybody on the radio for freedom of speech, and I think it's awesome. You gotta be. You know what's weird about us? We pretty much hate every other radio show out there, <laughs> but we're the only ones that defend every other radio show out there yeah, when they, they, get, when in they get in trouble for saying something. And, and, we're, and we're the first ones that gets crucified by 99% of the radio personalities when we get in trouble for saying something. Good! They should be taken off the air! Yeah, we yell and scream at those people. Like, don't you understand they're going to come after Dummy, you next? You're next, idiot. Yeah, so... Oh, I don't do shock radio. You don't have to anymore. No. You just have to say something that offends somebody and you're gone. By calling Hillary Clinton a whore. Right. That's there not you go. really shocking, is No, it? especially when it's not on the air and it's a, a live <laughs> stage show. Right, let's go to Mike and Beth Page. Mike, what's up? Hey, I got something better to talk about besides his politics. Okay. Right. Righty. How about a more important uh, uh, subject, like a magic moment? Ooh. Ooh. And now it's time for a magic moment. As Opie and Anthony take a glorious look at this majestic Long Island community. Anthony, you want to do a little reset for Jim Jeffries? Because he's sitting there like, what? what's a mastic what's, moment? What's Strangely a enough, this t this t ties into freedom of speech and what we were talking about. Uh, mastic is a, a small town out on Long Island right. here in New York. It's a hellhole. It is a crap hole. Uh, it's it's um, very small. Um, a lot of uh, impoverished people living there. Uh, the property values are in the crapper. We saw a house that uh, you could buy for nineteen hundred dollars. Nineteen hundred dollars. I got nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we were just like, let's just buy some houses in Mastic. Screw it. And, and a DJ out there in Long Island made some dumb white trailer trash, park trailer park yeah. type of joke and got in a lot of trouble and actually got suspended from his radio show. Yeah, for saying that. And because, we defended uh, this guy. We hate this show he does. How but did we defended the rednecks the get together to actually get lawyers and stuff and get angry? It, it was, uh, yeah. The, if you can't get out of bed in the day and you're a drunk, and how do you get, how do you, <laughs> yeah. how do you get complaining going? Well, there's so many people I want to want to fight against, but I just can't be asked. I yeah. can't really do it. it yeah. It's ridiculous. And uh, this town, uh, some of the um, leaders of the town, I guess, uh, got together and complained and uh, called the radio station, got this guy suspended. For making a trailer park joke. Kind of innocent joke. So we're, yeah. we're, we're like, all right, we're going to take up the fight. And now we're going to tell everyone what Mastic what really is about, all because, about. Because we're from Long Island, very familiar with Mastic. Uh, and we know it's a crap hole. It's one of those towns that if you live on Long Island, 
you know it to be a crap hole. Like Windanch, mm. like Brentwood. Mm-hmm. I mean, to the rest of the country, these names mean nothing. But just insert the town around you that you know and everyone knows is, is a piece of crap town. Half of Amityville? Right. Or Amity, yeah. Uh, North Amityville. North South Am- Amityville, very nice. I'm just saying half. Yep. Half of that town exactly. is, is a horror show. And around the country, like I said, just pick a town. You know it. You know it. Yeah. There's towns near you that you know are crap towns. Mastic is one of our crap towns. So now we just uh, stick with the facts. Okay. Yep. And uh, we got a mastic moment here. Long Island duck gets order of uh, protection. <laughs> a duck, like any other victim of a violent attack, circles the duck, now has legal protection, an order of protection against the man charged as her assailant. Mm-hmm. In addition to getting shot in the neck by a pellet gun, Suffolk prosecutors said circles of Mastic managed to make legal history yesterday. Was the duck eating spaghetti at an Italian restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> How's the Italian food here? <laughs> quack, 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 quack. To my knowledge, it's the first order of protection for a pet in Suffolk County outside of domestic violence cases, said uh, Prosecutor Michelle Auletta. Yeah. Uh, the attack was quick, said Circle's owner Janet Lippincott. A group of teens jumped the backyard fence and charged her. Uh, with pellet guns. Uh, yesterday, the yellow-billed Peking duck, the same variety as Long Island duck fame, scored a legal victory. The man, police say, is her attacker. Wow. Mm. You like Matthews? Y L I K? Yeah, Y L I K Matthews, a mastic, pleaded not guilty to felony animal cruelty charges. Uh, Judge John, wow. L John, wow. Uh, oh, what? Ilyu? L L I O U. Welsh name. Issued a full order of protection for mm-hmm. Lippincott's family, including Circles. Little Matthews uh, was held on bail of five thousand uh, dollars cash or ten thousand dollars bond. Good luck getting it. According to court papers, you ready for this? The single pellet pierced the duck's larynx, larynx, shattered, shattering a bone around her voice box and leaving two holes on the opposite side of her neck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Circles is back to sleeping in the dog crate she shares with two Pitbull Labrador sisters, Viper and Sweetie. What, you're saying the Pitbulls never went for the duck first? Like, the Pitbulls have lived with this duck for how many years? Yeah, nice, peaceful, living with the duck. I have no problem with someone hurting a duck. I eat duck. You know, as long as you eat the animal. <laughs> I know. don't think they were eating it. No, but you know what I mean? I, I thought, I think you Kill them, cows and all that. How I think I Jim is them? right. Jim Jeffries is right. As long as you eat the animal, you should be able to do whatever the hell you want to. Now, We've already cl- determined they're just like bait. Just change its name to Jack Klugman. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, but, quack. If the dogs hired the guy to shoot it in the throat, so they wouldn't have to hear that stupid quacking. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill it, because we kind of like her. We'd bang her. I think it the probably was like a loud, mac. Mac, 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 all the time, and just I'm gonna shoot that thing in the throat. I think the animal's owner is uh, quite sadistic. Yeah. Poor Circles has his injury, and then you put it back in the crate with pit bulls. Well, weren't they buddies? Yeah, they were. They were uh, they're pals. Yeah, they grew up together. Yeah, you don't think the uh, the dogs are kind of looking at that duck, going, "Yeah, I, I know we're buddies, but I'm a little hungry right now." <laughs> Maybe they're well fed. Uh, who knows? <laughs> And that was a bird's eye view into the scenic town we hold close to our hearts. A mastic moment on the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> Let's go to California. Mike, what's going on today, buddy? Hey, not much. All right. Uh, thing about Big A's teeth or tongue scraping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Big A is here, and we're going to scrape his tongue. Yeah, just take all the remnants from it, wad it up, and give it to E-Rock as a breathman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's implying your breath is worse than Big A's tongue scraping. <laughs> Jim Jeffries saw right. some amazing stuff on our show yesterday, and we're going to try to top that today, Jim Jeffries. I'm not, I'm not going to mention it. We got Big A. <laughs> he has horrendous breath. I've I've smelt it. I have been oh, close yeah. to it. But you I don't even I, have who, to be close to him. Who's going to be scraping it? Who's oh. holding the scraper? He'll scrape it. And he'll scrape his own tongue. If you never, I'm a scraper. If you've never scraped before, he'll gag or something. It's not. It's not an easy. I uh, I scrape my tongue. I really try to keep my mouth in shape here, and when I scrape my tongue every morning, it's just. Ugh. I, I can't br- even imagine. I brush what, it. I can't imagine what's going to be it's on that toothbrush. scraper. Toothbrush. Did we get like the no, scraper? No, no, I don't like the toothbrush. But I think no. it, it matters up the the, the things. So when you're a smoker, oh. I get big yellow chunks coming off the thing after <laughs> yellow and brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's you ever take a nice. whiff? You ever take a whiff? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's so just imagine on Big A. I, I hope they got the right scraper. 
Please yeah, tell I me like, you guys uh, one of written. Oh, okay. What? You got to get the one that yes. looks like a spoon. If you didn't get the one that looks like a spoon, we got to go back out. Yeah, he's going back out, right? Because the one that looks like a spoon, when you scrape and then turn it over nice, you got a a, a, a spoonful of custard. I like to call oh. it a spoonful of goop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim Jeffries, like, oh, I'm of getting goop. a little disgusted. And then we're gonna we're gonna collect this, and then I don't know what we're doing yet. I think we're gonna line up a bunch of guys and see who can handle the uh, <laughs> the goop the I best. I believe we have five guys willing to do that. It's amazing to me. Yeah. What, what, what's going to happen? Is it five guys going to eat it or yeah, something? No, 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 just to smell it, not to eat it. Smell it. How much would you pay someone to eat it? Oh, hundred bucks. Give them ten dollars. <laughs> I got, I got. 100. Yeah, no, I think that's worse than yesterday. <laughs> you it, think that's worse than yeah, yesterday? I, I think eating that stuff with the tongue is worse than yesterday. Than what uh, what's, what's Dave this? did. What is it? That's not a tongue scraper. Yeah, it's, well, that's after the fact, I think. When did we get that? Let me see. Turn that around. How did we just send him back out? Why did we you not get look at this that. yesterday? No, you got to get the. Uh, no, no, that's no, a no, brush. No, this no, is kind of no, more. No. This is like a tongue brush. You need. No, you know, it you looks need, like you a need, spoon. Need, it really looks like a spoon. It's like a scoop. Yeah, you you're need scooping it. what's on your tongue off. It's like a tongue spatula. And it collects in the middle of this like uh, <laughs> scraper. I'm so grossed out. And then uh, we'll we'll get a whiff. Here Obviously, none of these guys scrape their tongue. They yeah, have no idea what to get from I the store. That off of <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just scraped something off his tongue. <laughs> He's not lying. That's like a mini tumor you just I, I, removed I, from your tongue. I, I didn't do it today. I had to get up very early. I, I need a good scraping. I'm in desperate need of a scraping. <laughs> Jimmy's face. You're right, Jimmy. I'm just thinking of the four or five volunteers that are gonna have to smell. That's yeah, hard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, even yeah, that was rude. I'm gonna stink today. I'm <laughs> gonna stink today. You guys will talk about me when I leave. I stink. <laughs> don't I stink. <laughs> well, you could use that other tongue scraper they got because we're not using it for the thing. Yeah, I wonder I, if Eastside Dave would be interested. Huh? Eastside <laughs> Dave, you hungry? Yeah, hungry. <laughs> or are you still full from yesterday? <laughs> I got a look. I, I got to tell you, like, I, I was saying before, I told my mum about that and what happened yesterday. Yeah, and she didn't believe me. It was like when you're a kid and you go, and then he did this, and then this happened, and she was like, "Come on, James. Yeah, it stop was, making stories up." It was. <laughs> the end of the show got horrific yesterday. It, well, it really got probably into some of the most disgusting stuff that's ever happened on the program. Yeah. Uh. We had a naked man. Eastside Dave that from the Ron and Fez show. He um, he was completely naked because he does this segment for us. It's um, called Guess What Eastside Dave is Hiding at, in a Certain Place on His Body. But we, yeah, but we yeah. don't talk around the issue when we do the bit, but you're right. No, 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 He's when got we do the bit, but hidden, believe me. He hidden puts, on his naked body. He puts something somewhere, yeah. and, and we do a question and answer thing, uh, like a... 20 questions thing, asking yes or no questions, until we figure out what he is hiding in this certain place on his body. And then he removes, he slowly and painfully removes uh, the object and holds it up with pride. Uh, and then we'll use the object. Uh, like, uh, what was it yesterday? It was a pack of cigarettes. A pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yes, a pack of cigarettes. Mm. And he took them out and, and then uh, put them in his mouth. Yes. Which is really disgusting. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but then it got even more disgusting because I guess he had an upset stomach. Aww. Yeah. And uh, what he did in the studio... Has uh, never been done before. He had I an upset believe. stomach. When, yeah. when you have an upset, uh, upset stomach, yeah. there's something you can do to relieve the pressure. I think everyone understands. Of an upset stomach. Everyone pretty he, much does he it did that. Right. He did that in yeah. the studio. Yeah. Um, uh, pretty much ruining a garbage can. <laughs> ruining more mean, than pretty, a garbage can. Yeah. Pretty much ruining. Yeah, pretty much ruining. Then... You broke my soul. Um, <laughs> then uh, 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 Sam tried to attack him and trim more of his hair off his head with a razor. Well, we got to explain. We got well, into this dumb little bit called Afro Wars. It's our guy Sam against Eastside Dave from the Ron and Fez show. Sam has a huge Afro at this point. <laughs> And we thought uh, we ended the contest because we pinned Eastside Dave down a, uh, about a week ago, yeah, two weeks ago, his head. about a week ago, and we shaved uh, a reverse mohawk into his huge, bushy hair. And we're like, end the contest. Sam wins Afro Wars. We did a little wrestling thing. You, you, the contest can't continue. You lose. He decided, I, I'm still in this. Yeah. <laughs> and and he's still growing the hair, even though he has like an old man horseshoe now, but it's really, really bushy on the sides. So we're like, no, man. So we try to pin him down again yesterday to really end this Afro Wars and uh, get him with the uh, with the Clippers, right? And uh, he's still completely naked. So he uses the only defense he could possibly use, 
And that is taking his hand and placing it somewhere right. where the cigarettes were. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where he would hide the cigarettes. Yeah. And then uh, r- removing his hand from that area, his hand is now visually contaminated. <laughs> yes. Visually <laughs> contaminated. And he was chasing his assailants around the studio he was, with one hand. He looked like the Heisman Trophy, look, <laughs> chasing uh, someone around. We had we had about eight guys that were trying to attack him, pin him down, so we could like uh, finally end this Afro Wars. Yeah, he was able to hold off everybody, everybody with this hand going around with one hand like a superhero. And then everyone would go back, like you, you see those movies with the cavemen, and they see fire for the first time. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> That's how our guys were. Ah. Just backing off, and then from mon- the hand, and then money was paid to him to remove the uh, uh, visual atrocity from his hand. Yeah, with his mouth. Yeah, Gigi Allen is alive and well, and he did. Two thousand eight, he yeah. did, and yeah. he started uh, throwing up into the but same he didn't garbage. Just do pill. it once. I, yeah, yeah. I think Jim said it's not clean. It's not keep yeah, going. Yeah. Keep yes. going. Keep I, going. Uh, it it made. Everyone pretty much stuck dry here. It the was hand, you, you could rob a bank like that. Like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, 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 people always want to have hostages and stuff like that. If you're like, uh, I don't know, what are they call linebacker or something like that, just yeah. do that with your hand, then run yeah. hand run, first. Yeah, hand first. People will get out of your get way. Get out of your way. It's, 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 it was so disgusting. Uh, and no, that's that, not a bad scrape, that one. That's are we getting better? Anyone. But it's not the scoop. Oh, how much money are we going to How much money are we going to waste on oh, on, on tongue scraper? Oh, Eighty four fifty. There's one that it, it, it's an actual spoon, Steve. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a spoon. You can pretty much eat ice cream with this thing. Oh no, like that. and you scrape. See, that, that's more of a. Um, how do you explain that one? Well, it's, it's like a bent bit of metal that you yeah, shove at the end, and then you push oh, it right. on the floor. Yeah. yeah, there's no but way it to comes collect with the goop. bonus smart floss. Why don't we just, um, I don't know well, how it's different what? to normal floss. Why don't we but, just get a spoon? Uh, well, we can do a spoon. No, no, this you can get heaps mm. off with these ones. Mm. Maybe you get heaps off of th- this one, like Jim Jeffries just said, and then we uh, will. We'll, uh, so, uh, all right, we'll work with that in a spoon. I am, Plastic spoon. If this is done yeah. wrong, people will be fired. Sorry, we have to fire people. That's the right time to get it, 10 of 8 on, on the air. Yeah. Oh. Best time to get it. All right. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to buy them in advance and, and look them over. You, you do yeah. it right in prime time. So, with that said, we're going to try to do something with this uh, this tongue scraping today to maybe uh, to, to equal what... I, I, well, we're not going to equal yesterday. It's, it was one of the greatest moments in radio history. Disgusting. Not something I'm going to put on my resume. But, he, I, uh, I, I, that was, was only the third or fourth time I've ever done the show. I thought that was just one of your bog standard ones. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to tell your your mom? I, I tried to tell me mum. Me mum. <laughs> me mum. I'm trying to tell me mum. Yeah, I tried to tell me, Mum, and she was, you're just making things up. Why are you always <laughs> making stories up? You don't have to lie. I love you. I'm your mum. <laughs> she doesn't really love me. No. no I, she, we heard. She, she, no, she's mental, my mum. My mum, I, I had a friend commit suicide a, a while back. I'm trying to cheer you thing, but I had an argument with her before she committed suicide that day. But <laughs> I, 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 I rang my mum up, and, and, and I go, uh, I go, um... I go, I said some awful things, Mum, and she goes, well, James, in your life, you're going to, you know, say hurtful things to people that you don't mean, but you just try to, you know, minimise these things so they don't happen again, right? And she goes, I'm just happy. I've said some awful things in my life, but I'm just happy that I never said anything bad to you or your brothers. And I'm like, what did you do when you left the house? Were you just, like, <laughs> stabbing people in the street or something? Last time I was home, I got woken up by this... 400 pound woman bashing into my room going i want you to know that when i'm dead in many ways you've been a huge disappointment to me <laughs> and the reason for that is the reason for that is because i didn't show her some photos and i showed them to my dad oh she's mental she used to beat the hell out of me i got scars on my on my really spot. she used to hit me with a belt buckle from a scout belt right because i wouldn't go to scout the reason i wouldn't go is i was being molested every day i was there <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh no. wow! Does she go? Why won't you go? I go. I want to go. Boom! You must have been an adorable little kid. <laughs> now, it ex- <laughs> now it explains all the stories you told us yesterday. Yes, it does. Right, Jimmy? No, that, that is, that no, is we, just, now we understand. Scouts. We understand uh, I, why I you had, do what you do. Sexually. I had MySpace messages, just a row of twenty, when I got back to the hotel yesterday, that just said, "Gay." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got molested at Boy Scouts? I had Scouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he never actually physically inside or anything. Just whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was that all right, you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably not. He used to just put me in a corner and 
Anyway, it wasn't a good day. Either way you look at it. <laughs> it wasn't a good day. Either. What would he just? What, what, was was he into just looking at you? And the, the and thing is, he he always wanted you to call him Balu through the whole experience. He never lost his you know seniority from the Jungle Book. Oh, <laughs> oh, what did he make you God. do? Uh, you got to kind of keep it like sort of vague. Uh, there was oh, we'll figure it out. A lot of lot of lot of swearing and sitting in the corner and and like it was like being in the front row at SeaWorld. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus! Wow! Oh, oh God! When Shamu uh, yeah. flips up in the air, Ca and caution <laughs> lands in caution, the caution. You may get wet. Is what they say. In the <laughs> yeah, when, when when that, Shamu that was, the, that was the best oh. way I could describe it. On, 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 yeah. I thought that was pretty good the way I danced Wait. around there. Wow! All oh right. so, God! So this was going on at Scouts. You go home, and um, now you decide. You know, it's in uh, my best interest not to go back there anymore. And is, now you're getting Cubs actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you're getting beat by your mom. Yeah, and so I mean, mom because to, you won't go to scouts well, to get uh, mom used to thrash mol molested, me, basically. Thrash me with the the belt buckle of the scout belt. When the hell did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and those scout belts, they're like they're like those big buckles and everything. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah it wasn't nice. In the end, my dad found out. I tell this, I tell this a little bit in my routine, but I'll mention it anyway. In the end, my dad found out. I swear to God, this is what he said. He comes to me and he goes, uh, I went with my mate who it also happened to, and my dad said, you've done the right thing by coming to see us, and I want you to know that you've done nothing wrong, and he's done everything wrong, and he's going to get what's coming to him. And then my dad hugged me and looked at me and went, I wonder how you got all those badges. And people think I made that up. Oh, but I, wow. No, I swear to God, that's oh. true. And the thing is, I respect my father so much for that because I believe comedy is all about taking risks. And my father was holding his molested child, and he thought, no, it's a good one. Have uh, a go. Yeah, maybe, let me, uh, maybe I'll yeah, get a laugh. joke here. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to let this one fly. I'll just work it in. Did you laugh? No, I didn't really get it. But I can promise you, later on that evening, he was in the pub with his mates going, and then I said... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's say good morning to Cleveland. Wow. Uh, we got Pete on the line. Pete, <laughs> that is true. It's Jim Jeffries in studio. Wow. Uh, he's playing Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. I I'm going. I can't wait to see you because I, I saw you at Dennis Leary and Friends, and uh, I've been waiting to see you ever since. So that's and he's going to uh, be in Cleveland also. Oh yeah, where are you playing in Cleveland? Because we're um, on live right now. Oh, um, I'm playing um, <laughs> Hilarities. Hilarities is the name of the place in Cleveland. In a week or two. In a week or two, I'm in Kansas next week. All right, so Stanford and Sons. Look out for Jim Jeffries in, in uh, Cleveland there. All right, Pete, what's up? Dude, that's awesome. Hey, Jim. Hey, hey guys. Hey, buddy. Hey. All right, um, I've been uh, lingering longer, and there was you guys were playing, uh, I don't know, it was when you are on vacation or something, they did a, a replay, and Bob Kelly was in the studio with you guys, and he was talking about, he did this set, and there was this guy that was in the waiting room with him that was like, deathly afraid of something and it turned out it was jim jeffries this was a long time ago and i guess you guys all forgot about it hmm what is he afraid of bananas oh yeah no i don't i don't like bananas in fact there's a pill over there that i've already how did you Wait. How, how did you don't no, don't do that no 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 seriously it's open <laughs> uh, don't don't, uh, whoa, don't screw with him Wait, what is this about? He's I, actually leaving the studio. No, no, I don't. I don't like bananas. I don't. I don't. Like I'm just them. holding up the. Are, Why? are you doing a bit? Who, who, no, I'm serious. Put it back, put, Opie. Put don't it make back. the guest uncomfortable. No, no, put it back. I don't, I don't like it when it's open like that. Like this? Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is put, going on? Put it back. And we will and and we will ask look, and, and is, maybe there's wait, an explanation. Wait, this is like kryptonite. Look at this. Watch. No, that. Look, look, no look, don't yeah. don't make our guest don't, uncomfortable. Don't, don't, don't open up. No, seriously, it's not funny. Wait, do those do those things open? Look like what a, a scoutmaster's trousers look like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, it's just put gotta, it back. Put it back. Hold on, it's got to be oh. said that I just he. He saw my banana over here. I eat a banana and yogurt every morning. This guy just said that uh, he's def deathly afraid of bananas, and uh, he he pointed at my banana. I picked it up. I just started showing it to him, and he's moved away. Like, yeah, how, did, how, did, how did that guy know I didn't like bananas? Who told him? I guess uh, Bob Kelly oh, had Bob. said it once. Wait, this is a real moment. What's up? I, don't, I, I have a thing with bananas. All right, you're gonna tell us after the break. This Wait. is the, this is the tease right now. Who's Wait. who's turning off the channel right now? No break. What what happened, Kenny? What? What happened? Hold on, hold on. Just because I know you're going into something else. 
after the break, Jim Jeffries, the great Jim Jeffries, is playing Caroline's. You're going to tell us why you don't like bananas, I right? Do, I have a five year bananas. Don't, don't tell us no, now. Don't no give it away. Reason. Don't give us the big. Uh, it, it has to be based on something. Right, we'll get into it after the break. Why you we'll might just get not to like bananas? Wh- how Two minutes. When this happened. Hello, people. For big events, they got to bring in the big guns. So let's start the countdown because you know what's going to happen at 8 a.m. What's going to happen at 8 a.m., Kenny? Tickets are going to go on sale for the first Opie and Anthony Animation Festival, which will be held at Roseland Ballroom Thursday night, June 5th, 2008, at 8 p.m. So let's get your pen and paper out and start dialing either one. How do you? What? <laughs> what? Well, I'm what? gonna write down like you can get tickets at Ticketmaster.com or LiveNation.com, or I'll give you phone numbers for Ticketmaster.com two one two three zero seven. He's giving a phone number for a website <laughs> seven one. Or you can get tickets at the Irving Plaza box office, which is Irving Place and Fifteenth Street, if you're in the area, or you can call them. 212-777-6800. So let's start buying tickets and sell out this show and have a good time. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets wow. are on sale now. Tickets good. are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale oh. now. Tickets are on sale now. Some of that tea. Yeah, I know. Ticket. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, through Ticketmaster. <laughs> June 5th, Roseland Ballroom, ONA Animation Festival. Tickets are on sale. No! <laughs> um, I'm looking at uh, Pal Talk here, and someone's saying, oh, what about tickets? They're on sale now. <laughs> tickets are on sale now. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. What? What, that that tickets are on sale now. Ticketmaster.com. Tickets Live are on Nation. sale now. Com. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, tickets and they're cheap are on too. Sale now. So let's tickets buy are on tickets sale on now. sale now. Tickets are on 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 sale now. What he said. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. Now. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets. When the hell did this happen? Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. I guess tickets are on sale. Do you know that's how all of us feel when we talk to you? (laughs) (laughs) That's what we hear. I don't care as long as I sell out this this event. And that'll, uh, that'll make me happy. Yeah, that's all Kenny cares about. Are there any well. tickets on sale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Tickets are on sale now, and they're cheap. Ticketmaster.com, all right, all right, LiveNation.com. All, right, all right, now we're driving everyone nuts. ONA Animation Festival, June 5th, Roseland Ballroom. Tickets are on sale now. Jim Jeffries playing Caroline's here in New York City. If, if I shut my eyes, I can't see it, so it, it, do what you want. You could feel it, though, right? No, 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 no. Just no, feel no. the banana. No, I'm not going to touch Please, the banana. Please, just feel I'm not, it. I'm not going to touch you. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Why, why would you do that? How weird is it, though? Look at him. He's, see, he's, these he's people, people like... don't like balloons. Some people don't like baked beans. Some people don't like clowns. I don't I don't like bananas. What is the, what, like... How does it make you feel when you see it, though? It's, it, it used to make me vomit. Now it's just like someone holding a spider to, like, an arachnophobe or something. Well, it looks like a spider because it's all, like, no, yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it's open like that, it's... Like, why are you doing that? Because it's an amazing oh, reaction. Leave him alone. <laughs> I've gotten better. A year ago, I couldn't even be in this room. In the room? No. You barely could when be did, in the room. You're, like, moving away from the mic. When did you realize that there was this... Ever since, a char- uh, since I was a, a child, I never, I never <laughs> liked it. Wow. You know what the, <laughs> the banana <laughs> represents? <laughs> 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 I can't have a squirt gun with milk shooting out of it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Opie, you're being very cruel. It's, I just don't, it's his kryptonite. It's he doesn't amazing. like that. But yeah, but see, my me. problem is now because bloody Robert, Robert Kelly, he tells everybody, and some guy in I don't know Wisconsin or something rings up and tells me that I don't like bananas. I thought it was a fairly well kept secret, mm. and now there's going to be like people at the show tonight just with a banana, just sitting on their knee, just in the no. front row, no. just... have them thrown out. Oh yeah, have them thrown. No. If you bring a banana, you will be thrown out of the venue. Anyway. I once, I once uh, <laughs> shagged a bird. 
Am I allowed to say that word? Oh, sure. sure. Okay. I once shagged a bird and she put a condom on and it was banana flavor. But I didn't know. And it was banana. I vomited all over. It was that artificial, <laughs> that artificial smell. Of, of, just, you don't even like the smell of banana. So you don't no, like no, no, any no, no, banana flavor. Let's just see what happens. Just hold this banana. No, I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to hold it's it. It just ain't going to happen. Hold my banana. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. Is it, is it, did, the, did the scalp... Is it, no, molested? no, my, 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 I was, yeah. I know, but I mean... Is there a, like, with, with a, a, a with, no, no, no. I'm with a banana. No, no, by breakfast or something with that smell. It's, it's a visceral reaction. Probably, I know, well, I, I, as my mum said even as a baby, I wouldn't eat like mashed up bananas. Really? And I remember my brothers used to hold me down and mash banana into my head. Oh, what well, bastards! There you go. That's what you feel yeah, but I didn't like it before then. I, I, but I still, they would do that because you didn't like yeah, it. Not, it wasn't like the like cause it. of it. You know, I, I found they weren't it. mashing bananas into your head. That's what they told uh, oh. your your child protective service. Do that. <laughs> Opie, why are you being such an ass to our guest? It's just, I'm just showing love, man. We love this love. Tim Jeffries guy. The yeah. guy. How would you like if someone brought a, a vacuum in and just hey. started vacuuming around uh, right. you? Don't you? Don't you like vacuums? Bit oh. over. Bit he over. No, why, why, bit vacuums. Over. Anthony why? figured out a way to make why you wouldn't, stop. Why wouldn't you like vacuums? Bit over. He, if bit over the sound of a vacuum drives him nuts. Really? Yeah, nuts. absolutely. Nuts. My mom would vacuum our house, I don't know, hours at a time, and we'd be uh, watching TV and... And li when, when they found Lift that out, your feet. Li listeners would start calling. <laughs> listeners would start calling, and over the phone, just play them the vacuum sound, and it would freak them out. You, I, I, I'm, li I'm lucky. Exhaust fans in like bathrooms, it's the same sort of sound. No, nah, it's just vacuums. I'm lucky enough now in my life to have a cleaning lady, and uh, she comes once a week. And uh, she was vacuuming the other day. I had to leave the apartment. Really? I had to leave the apartment. All ah, right, see? Look what it does. I love that sound. It that smells is, good. That's my thing. Yeah, I like that sound. And just right. like you, I don't, I don't know why. It can't be just because my mom was vacuuming a lot as a kid. But look, look at my arm. Goosebumps right away from uh, the sound of a vacuum. Can I feel them? Yeah, here you go. Mm. Ooh. You know what? Uh, central. What the hell, Jimmy? You know what gets me? You know what the air hose on a compressor use it like oh, to clean up. If you work sure. in a, a, a shop, uh, you use it to blow off uh, sawdust or metal chips off a lathe or something like that. To put it a little too close to your arm and and hit the air and it it like makes your skin go like a little bit. Mm -hmm. That I can't even deal how, how with. That. How often does that happen? Well, you know something in the. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a work in a shop, it happens a oh, lot. Right, right, yeah, because right, right. you're like cleaning stuff Did up. You used to do that? See, and just the air coming out of the nozzle kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm sadistic, though. I will uh, do a bit where we uh, get a lot of vacuums, turn them on all at the same time. I want to see how many vacuums I could take before I actually have to leave the studio. Because right. I will leave the studio I bet eventually. One. I, I, I don't I, think I, one. The one makes the goosebumps pop up immediately and the hair on the back of my neck. But, uh, I, you know, and someone is reminding us we're missing the obvious here. What? Maury. Maury fears. Oh, my God. Yeah, you would be uh, perfect on Maury Povich. Yeah. Because he has people f confront their fears, you know, to help them. Whoa. Whoa, oh, the banana is getting loose in my hand. Don't. Whoa, it's, it has a life right, of its own. Right. You know something? Whoa. Jim is, oh, stop it, will you? Stop Whoa. it. Jim is, this isn't even good radio. Stop People it. at home are already bored of this. This is boring. Jim yeah. has been nothing but a great guest <laughs> on our program, <laughs> and you're rewarding him banana. by I being won't. a douche. I won't, I won't vomit or anything. I'm all right. I'm all right. My, my, my ex flatmate put a banana in my underwear drawer, and I punched him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you punched I, I just, him? And I made him wash all my underwear as well. <laughs> it's weird because you look down, like you, you you can't make eye contact with the the banana or the person that is holding the banana. You kind of no, look down and shy away from the microphone. Watch, whoa! Oh, do, was, <laughs> would you? Why? It's, 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 it's that little flinch that a dog gets that you've hit a lot. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you look like. No, 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 no! no don't give it to I'm Norton. Don't. Give uh, it to, uh, oh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. You but, can't watch people eat a banana. No, the, the whole density of the thing, mm. and they chew it. And, Jimmy, let's eat our banana. And they chew it. Oh my God! Why are you oh. doing this to this man? Mm. Mm. Give me all. My Keep, mouth is Oh the my God! This so. I'd, the I'd, text of the banana. I'd rather eat Big A's tongue. Oh coke. my God! Oh, I think you said that. Hey, Jim. It's too thick. No, see, look, he's gonna leave. Don't leave. No, see, he's gonna leave. He's leaving. It's just a. 
I'll be back. Just, just finish your banana. It's delicious. It's Holy thick. crap! This is a real thing. He, he just no, left. Dude, this is not fake. He, he doesn't like bananas. It's thick and banana y. Next time he comes to New York, we have to have a studio filled with bananas. Quickly, though. I was hundreds of. Them. I had a sh uh, a smoothie yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, it's my you know banana, heavy banana and strawberry, but it smells like banana. And he was kind of sitting, yeah, like in the seat next to me. I wonder if that was bothering him. Oh, this sucks. All right, we like him too much. Wait, let me finish my banana. He's been a great guest. You don't want to have him not I'm come back. I'm not having a hissy fit. I'll be back. Just finish what? The I can't hear you. Just finish the bananas. I'll Can you walk back. to that mic? I can't hear you. I'm not. I'm not being a girl. I just. <laughs> what? Oh, he's got the banana peel just cocked back in his hand like he's ready to heave it at him. You are so mean. He's giving us such uh, great radio, too. Jimmy, are you done with your banana? I certainly am. Uh -huh. no, no, Jimmy's put the banana look, we'll peel just, on his head. Look, we'll make it fun. We'll wear them as, as little right, banana right, hats. Okay. All right? All right. Jim, look. Look what I do for you. No, no, don't. Look, don't no, I'm don't, serious. Don't, don't dangle it, man. What? Even this? I'll start swearing when we take it off the air. You don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone. Do you like Jimmy, Jimmy's uh, banana I like, hat? I like Jimmy's it's a banana hat. I, yeah. Coochie. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. It, it's not nice. Jimmy, you I, got one of those things? No, Mine no. is vacuums, his is bananas, ants, no, air you, hoses, or whatever. Do you think I would tell you? I have one and I would never tell you. You got one? Oh, yeah. Is it an innocent thing? Kind of. Heterosexual sex. <laughs> yeah. Is it an innocent thing? See, mine's like the laugh of a small child. <laughs> oh, oh, I got something for you. Thank you, Thad. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. That's the word. Jim, see? It's, 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 feel. It's, it's in the bin. Listen, listen. There we go. All right. It's dead and buried. It's in the garbage. Wait, did you get Norton's one as well? I threw mine out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. We're okay. I'm sorry about that. And now people think I'm, a, I'm an idiot. No, no, I, I have know. another one, but I'm, I, I do enjoy a good banana. I like to eat them. Yeah. yeah I know, yeah. I know it's people it's too. It's superfood. Uh -huh. It's a superfood. It's full of some vitamin that I obviously lack. <laughs> yeah, potassium. You never had a banana? <laughs> well, no, no. no. It's so weird. All right. We got big A in Someone studio. Someone offered me about $500 once to eat a little bit, and I... Vomited. Well, could you do that for our radio show next time you're in town? That I, would be I terrific would, I would, radio. I would need much more money than that. Would, would you ever take a gig? That, that was when I was poor. At Bananas in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> That's <laughs> a funny question. Would, would you ever take a gig at Bananas in Poughkeepsie? I can handle the word. Yeah? There's, a big, there's big bananas hanging. It's the, fake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're fake, but they're no, I big. Can, you I, can do that? I, I used to have one of these blow-up bananas that you rode in the pool with. Oh, really? Like a, a pool pony, but I, I was cool with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All so right. you're not completely insane. It's just actual bananas. I can't go to Queensland, though. Up in Queensland, there's just banana plantations everywhere. And I have oh, nightmares wow. of, like, walking through it and the trees, like, attacking me or stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not trees. They're like, uh, what are they? Like, like bamboo-y type of Yeah, things. banana, whatever they are. Well, we got we got Big A in studio. Big A! Oh, Big A! What are you growing, a beard? You, you, like, you got a Homer a Simpson thing going. How you been, buddy? Mm, bananas. <laughs> what do you got? That uh, wow, that beard covers a lot of real estate. Mm. So you doing okay? Uh, yeah, not bad. How was it uh, without any eyebrows? We we shaved uh, Big A's eyebrows for the TV pilot. We're yeah, doing they're growing back. Central. They're growing back already. Yeah. Wow, that's little a little bit. bit. She was waiting. No, no, he really did. I thought he always didn't have <laughs> eyebrows. He did. What's wrong, Big A? You're not talkative today. You're sad. Um, a little bit, I guess. Why? Why are you sad? Oh. Hey, what's wrong? He doesn't like seeing me upset. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, of course. <laughs> why are you sad? What, what? Why? It's me. Oh, um, well, it's not a good thing to have bad breath, you know. Oh, That's yeah. Why. The scraper helps, though. If you if you use the scraper afterwards. Uh, or cleaner, that does help. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, it can help. We all have it sometimes. You don't do want, you, um... You don't want to do the tongue scraping bit for us today? Never mind. He's just... I'll do it. 
Oh, this oh, is yeah. this is horrible. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, this is this horrible. Is, <laughs> we're just trying to find where your line is, Jim. Yeah, Jeffers. Come on, let me eat a banana or something. <laughs> 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 can we, can we, we should start it. I Look, think. if you eat a banana, then no, 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 no. I was just that's gonna, that's fair. I think scrape his tongue, lose his dignity. I'm not eating a banana. He doesn't care. He's not eating a banana. What's the price of this man's soul? I'll tell you what, it's not a bloody banana. If you were drowning, yes, and the only way to reach you was with a banana, would you grab it? What, what do you mean the only way to reach me? Like you're just out of hand's oh, reach. Oh, yeah, so you're then... saying a banana, this is going to happen, is it? <laughs> that the only way to reach me is banana. You haven't got an item of clothing that you can chuck off with your hand. You're naked, you're only holding a banana. You couldn't stick your leg out instead, <laughs> which is longer than your arm, you're but doesn't just have the dexterity to, to put a hold a banana, banana between his toes. The banana. I love how this guy uh, yeah, you know, Jeffrey's rules. I, I, you really do. I would, I would tell you that that I that you use your leg or use your shirt yeah. or something like that. Oh, I just because then I Drown. know even if you save me, then on the the boat going back to the big boat, you'd just be baiting me with a banana <laughs> the whole time, it's true. and that would be uncomfortable. Going, who saved you? <laughs> Who saved you? <laughs> just have to jump in the water again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Big A, uh, what's going to make this fun? We want you to be part of the joke. We want you to be laughing with us and instead of us all laughing at you. I know this is a little rough. No water. How about uh, E-Rock? Go smell uh, Big A's uh, breath. <laughs> E-Rock has been known to have really bad breath as well. Yes, today. we've talked about it uh, And actually, because we brought it uh, to everyone's attention, it's, it's not as bad these days. E-Rock is going over to Big A. I'm sure it's not that bad. Big all A, right. could you just uh, do a nice, like, uh, like breathe really? Go. Just give him a... <sighs> yeah, give him a... <sighs> Oh my god. Inhale. Here we go. I'm sure it's not that Right bad. in his face. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen him make that face before. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was a great face. <laughs> he just he, he he just freaking wobbled like he got hit. It did. It looked a like a boxer ring. that just got it. <laughs> Clocked in the head he and got all woozy. Yeah, yeah, that, that's good. We right, need a standing that's, that's eight gonna, count. That's going to help Big right, A laugh just, with hold it. Hold on, I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah. E-Rock, you, you didn't do this properly, so now you got to take another one. Yeah, because that's true. you know this is radio. Take another All right, give, give E-Rock his own mic. Big A, instead of going, <laughs> go, <laughs> like, <laughs> right. But can I say this? Anyone, any guy breathing another guy's face, Isn't nice. you're going to have a visceral reaction to like, uh, my breath probably smells like bananas right now or coffee. It, it would probably give you a similar reaction. So it's not just you. Any one of us breathing in someone's face would, yeah. would cause a ugh, reaction. Big A, this is going to lead to some fine dental my, care. Mine smells you. like Scoutmaster. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it cost to get your teeth clean? We should just get that done over at XM because we got that dentist upstairs. Yes. We'll do it today. We'll get your teeth clean. Yeah. Ten grand. Well, you're on your own. Uh, one more time. And follow Anthony's yeah. go, uh, go. instructions. <sighs> don't go. Yeah, don't be Just fast. Go. <sighs> friends. Big long, <sighs> right into his nose, and Iraq. You have to visually inhale. Yes. When he does it through your nose. Ready? And go. Go. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God. Get the tail. Get the tail. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Big A's about to vomit at his own breath. <laughs> Big A, you all right? What happened? What happened? Oh, you, you, should, right? you shouldn't tell Big A to, 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 to do a big breath. Could be his last breath. Oh, right, Big A? I okay? saw what happened. Did also, you... when I see people throw up, I also throw up. Oh, you get a little sick yeah. when you see people oh, throw up? Where were you yesterday? Yeah, yeah right? Oh, that would have been a Bob show. Is here. All, right. All right, so there's a little bile mixed in now. Good. All right, Eric, what happened? You dropped the mic and started puking I immediately. I Did you actually you vomit, Eric? Wait. I threw up in my hand. You, you had a bucket. No, it wasn't there yet. Um, you know, like... When you... <laughs> His eyes are tearing. You, you know, like when you go to the gas station, you pump it, and you get that gas bubble inside where you, yeah. you're constantly just breathing gasoline? <laughs> he didn't just breathe in my face. He forced it down my throat. 
<laughs> he might be an energy resource we haven't tapped yet. <laughs> <laughs> like if it smells the same as gasoline. It might actually be combustible. <laughs> yeah, a hybrid car. All right, so let's, let's get moving on this. We have, we yeah. have, we have some right. scolding to do with this. Uh, yeah, why don't we, uh, we're going to take a break, and uh, after the break, what, what's up, Kenny? What happened? Ticket update. Oh, oh yes. they're on sale now. Yes. What ha what's the ticket update, there, you're, Kenny? You 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 almost sold a thousand tickets in wow. less than a half hour, tickets so are you're on more sale than halfway now. there. Tickets so people, are on sale you better now. get your tickets because they're going to be tickets gone very now. shortly, wow. and you're going to feel like a loser if you don't have one. Wait, we sold a thousand tickets in a half hour for the yeah. ONA Animation Festival yeah. going yeah. down June fifth at the Roseland Ballroom. Here I'll say you did. I'll tickets say are <laughs> tickets are on sale. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, tickets are on tickets sale are now, on sale and now. they're tickets cheap. Are on sale so now. get them because they're going to be gone. Well, when the hell did this happen? Well, well, we made the ticket cheap, but then there's all sorts of charges. Uh, we'll get into that yeah, on, the, so, on a later know, date. But apologize for that. But. We're halfway sold out in a half hour? Yes. Wow. So get your tickets, people, or, or you know, this you'll thing, be outside looking in. This thing will be done by... Uh, by That's telling them, Kenny. <laughs> this, this will be a sellout by noon, easily. Yeah, well, uh, easily. Another hour, I predict. Re it's Harry really 900 tickets sold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, I don't mind. That's awesome. All right, cool. Thank you, Kenny. Tickets oh, thank are on you sale for now. Being so Tickets terrific. are on sale now. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now. <laughs> Big A, uh, uh, Iraq, you all right? Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, His eyes are tearing. Iraq e e e comes yeah, up to me. Uh, all right, listen, we got to take a quick break. Jim Jeffries, Caroline's here in uh, uh, New York City tonight and tomorrow and Sunday. Early and late show. Uh, right after the break, Big A will scrape his tongue and then we're going to do some horrific things with that, okay? And Big A, we'll get you some help. That This is where this uh, ends. Uh, enough with the bad breath. Yeah. You're becoming a big star. I, I see you. you. You play like mayor at F.H. Riley's out yeah. there in Huntington. This is the grand Everybody finale loves you. of your bad breath. The yeah. grand finale is we're, today. We're getting you help. We're going to get your uh, your teeth cleaned today. Today. It's Opie and Anthony, stay there. Jim Jeffries in studio. We love this guy. Oh, it's, 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 uh, that's lovely. No Thank more you. bananas for you, sir. No. I don't want you to run away from us. We like you. I, I was talking to Jeffrey. He's really fast. He, he tours the world. This guy tours the world. Comes to America, does his little tour, and then he goes to other... Co he, he pretty much told me he's, he's done comedy in almost every country. Wow. Almost every I've, I've country. Done, I've done every continent. Every continent. Yeah, but I've done a lot of countries inside those continents as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go back to Big A in, in, in a second, but I remember something from yesterday that I wanted to bring up really fast. Kind of got to keep it short because we really want to get into this Big A thing. Sure. Uh, South America. Yes. You love South America. Yes. Uh, no, no. Uh, South Africa. Sorry. South, South Africa. Africa. South Africa's ace. Yeah. You love South Africa. Love it. And they got some weird thing going on with uh, with AIDS. Yes. What is that again? No, one in four people have AIDS in South Africa. Right, we understand that. Yeah. But how how do they cure AIDS? Oh, I didn't think... Okay, well, there's a, there's a theory in the townships, and this isn't just me talking off the cuff. I heard this from several people, that if you can cure AIDS by having sex with a virgin. Right. They really believe they, this. They, they, will yeah. they will cleanse you through doing this, and... Uh, so a lot of uh, there's a lot of rape going on with virgins involved uh, who then get AIDS. <laughs> it's, it's not a, it's not a funny bit. This no, it's I'm not. not, not. We, no, <laughs> no, I, no, we were I, expecting laughs from I, this. No, 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 no. <laughs> People get confused with this show. Every once in a while, we do like to like get a little serious moment. No, going no, on. This, I, this I thought that was amazing. Well, I, to hear I, about I, South Africa. I heard this before I went out there, and I thought, oh no, this doesn't happen. And then when you speak to people, you go, no, it's a serious problem. And I went and got an AIDS check uh, myself while I was out there because they do it so quickly. Like in Britain, you have to wait like two weeks. Weeks there, they, they they bash them out really fast, and, and it's funny when you get AIDS test in South Africa, they, they have a person with AIDS sitting there while you wait the ten minutes for the test to come back. He just sits with you and goes, "It's not that bad, it's all right." I'm oh wow! <laughs> it's because they're expecting it to they're just come back. They're expecting it positive. To come back positive. Yeah. yeah, they don't want you killing everybody in the doctor's <laughs> office, so they're trying to keep you calm. Yeah. Keep you calm. Unbelievable. All right, so uh, let's get back to Big A. Uh, e Rock, uh, E Rock's uh, our go-to guy. When we really need E Rock, he steps up, and Always. that needs to be known because we kill him on a daily basis on the show. But when things need to be done, E Rock is right there. He has never said no to anything that we've asked him to do on this uh, fine radio show. He is incompetent, but also irreplaceable. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> e Rock. Yeah. Uh, all right, we we need you to kind of uh, supervise the. The, uh, the scraping of the tongue. Now, this is what I need. Uh, we got Big A in studio. Uh, it's a well-known fact that Big A has horrific breath. 
A little halitosis, as they call it. Uh, he almost uh, knocked Iraq out by breathing into his yeah. face before the break. Breathed on him. Now, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Iraq, you got to supervise. You see, he's got the, the tongue scraper. That's going to get the, the goop off his tongue. But then you got to make sure the sample goes into that plastic spoon. <laughs> All right? And, Steve, it's a good thing that you're there because you'll be the first one, as punishment for not having the scraper, I feel that you should be the first one to take a little whiff. And then you've got to heat up the spoon and inject what? it. He's got a scraper. No, I know that, but it, it wasn't. I, I it wasn't it's, to your liking. It's not the process. You go, it's 55. When you do it, make sure you stick your tongue right out because the stuff at the back's the more yeah. heinous. You've got you to stick your tongue out. Go ahead. Iraq, get in there, Iraq. What make sure doing? he does it right. This is how it's and, done. And tell him to open stick his mouth. Stick your tongue way out. Go like, ah, uh, 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 scraper. Open your mouth. He knows. He's got it. Yeah, Iraq, you you collect way the sample. In the back. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Now scrape. Iraq, <laughs> don't move away. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's just a bit of tongue gunk. We all get that. <laughs> don't, don't be, be an adult <laughs> about it. Out on the floor. Oh! Oh, oh bile's coming out of E Rock's yeah. mouth. Oh, he's wiping his face on a t shirt. Okay, do it again. All right, okay, e hold on. E no, no, not do it again. Yeah, e Rock, do you got a sample on e the spoon? E got to supervise. Wait, Steve, what do we got on the spoon so far? Oh, Make uh, it. <laughs> tapioca pudding. Steve, get a little more. How about a quick, uh, just a quick sniff? Steve, a quick sniff. Looks like Farida. On Mike, of course. <laughs> I'm like. Ah! <laughs> Wait, that, that, that reaction took forever. <laughs> you dropped the sample. Don't no, drop I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. It's just, it's concentrated. Oh, Iraq. Iraq just puked. Oh, puking. <laughs> Oh, this is... <laughs> Big A, don't be upset. You do this for Big anyone. Big A, we're going to get your teeth clean. Anybody's tongue stuff would make you... Anybody's tongue stuff would make you... Big A, in all fairness, <laughs> I, I scrape my tongue every morning, and, it, and it's horrific, and I really yeah. do try to keep my I, mouth I get that stuff clean. Well. I got it right now. All yeah, right. absolutely. All right, all right. Iraq, get back in Another... there. No, we need more of a sample. Iraq, get in there. Another yeah. scraping. Iraq, get in there. Hold on. No, no, we, we gotta, I say one more person takes it off that. Uh, yeah, or off that, yeah. or off that first. Yeah, Stan is gonna be next. All right, Stan. Oh, Stan doesn't God. care. He's a fuck. Oh, oh. I'm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You only went to see. Good. Right, okay, Stan. here we go. Here oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. It's like sherbet. <laughs> it's well, a spoonful of sherbet. What color yeah. is it? Nice, a nice <sighs> whitish gray with a little yellow. It's lumpy too, right? Uh, yeah. All yeah, right, but that's, that's Stan. Oh. I laugh so hard, my gut hurts. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good constitution. You know what? You got <laughs> I'm going in for one. I have to. No. Jimmy, are you going to go in for no. one? Come on. Someone else no. has to go. All right, E Rock, get another uh, sample. Hold on. We got to get that. Uh, we'll have one more on this one. Can we get one more on this one? Let's, let's get more. Okay. Just get more. Get, get, there's get more. plenty of get some fresh stuff. E Rock, get in there. Okay, right, e Rock, get in. Good uh, big scrape on big, the other actually, side. Actually, from here, his tongue doesn't look that bad. Oh, that's not right. Ah! <laughs> oh. uh, uh, Iraq's crying. Iraq is crying. Look at his eyes. They're trying to collect the sample. It's looked like they're. It's bleeding too. There's blood in it. Oh God! It looks like po blood porridge. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's like it's like blood pudding. Don't okay. lose the sample. Let me hold the camera for. Get a that second. away from me, Sam. You got to go in for a sniff. Sam. Sam's next. Oh. Wait, get, get away from me. Get a mic on Sam. Get him by the mic. If I see it. I... <laughs> 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 Sam's, <laughs> Sam's throwing up. Put it down there. Put it down there again. Put it down there where he's, where he's going. Put it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Don't lose the sample. Yeah, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> disgusting. And when you look down in the garbage can, as you're puking, there's bile already in the garbage can. <laughs> oh, I can't take this. <laughs> I can't take this. Oh, boy. It's disgusting. Rock, do you have some on your spoon? I feel... <laughs> no, not, not really. All right, let's get a... 
Let's get another, uh, one more scrape from the other side, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah try side. The other side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big A or a trooper today, bro. Big go. A rules. Other Free side. appetizer. Get a FH big, Island. good one. Good one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He just... Put he it just, on there. He just scraped out an oyster. <laughs> oh, oh, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. Iraq, get in there for a sniff of that sample. <laughs> yeah, Iraq, please. <laughs> Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> Iraq, one more sniff, Iraq. Yeah, go, Iraq, go, 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 the uh, pal talk camera. There you go. <laughs> Look at the right. he, just, he, just, he jumped back ten feet and fell on the couch. Iraq, will you get in there for a smell? What? Come on. We're Come we're on. telling everyone you're our go-to one guy. One more sniff. One there, more Iraq. sniff, Iraq. Take e a good look. Take e a good look at that lumpy e stuff. E rock. That lumpy tongue scraping. <laughs> <laughs> Such a professional, still holding the marker. <laughs> we just found an, another bit for our. We just found another bit for our pay per view. At where's the? Oh yeah. Big A, you're going to be part of our pay per view with this. We might not uh, be able to clean your teeth for another month. <laughs> yeah, by the way, to wait. By the way, don't forget, we have. Uh, <sighs> we have. Uh, uh, two more naughty boys. Okay. Don't forget uh, Danny and, uh, and 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 Travis. Who are those naughty boys? Danny Kenny, you want in? What's this? Kenny, come on, Kenny. And uh, Roland. Kenny does it. I'll do it. Where's Roland? Where's Roland? Where's Roland? Bring Roland. I can't in. do it. Get in here. Let's get one more scrape done. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think it was Jim Jeffries. Would you go in for one? I'll go in for one. But uh, I, I went. I went. To, I've got a pretty good constitution for yeah. stinky bread. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to smell that, but I'm, I'm worrying about tickets at Roseland Ball. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, tickets are on sale now. Yeah, the ONA Animation Festival, the tickets have gone on sale for the June 5th uh, show at Roseland Ballroom. Just, you've been naughty in general. It's a general naughtiness. Wait, could, should we get another scrape off his tongue? Oh, how much, is, it, how much is in the spoon there, Steve? Oh, my God, it's, a it's, lot. it's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it looks like boogers and pudding. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. I'd rather smell it than a banana. Go ahead, go ahead Dad. All right, 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 right. Dad, you got to brace himself. Shove it in my face. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta this is something you got to right. Don't right. touch the spoon because we don't want to lose the sample. All right. <laughs> oh, he's gagging. Oh, he's gagging. He's gagging. <laughs> Daddy had more of a cat gag. Yeah. Yeah, it was like I, a hairball. <laughs> right. It, oh, man, that's. I, I know what that is, though. It, it almost smells like... Like when you when you when you're really really sick, like you know that <laughs> sick taste that you get in your mouth. Like if you have ever had bronchitis or whatever, that, 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 that taste that just doesn't he go away. It smells like sick. Yeah, it's sick. It's like a sick smell. <laughs> Holy crap! What's wrong? Uh, tra uh, good boy, Daddy. Travis. Oh, feel free. <laughs> okay. I got you breathing through your mouth. Yeah. Mouth closed, Travis. Don't try to sneak it. Yeah, in, right in the nose. Just smash it into his face. <laughs> <laughs> Not one person can stay up. Travis? All right, all right. All right. <clears throat> that's it? No. Oh, no, yeah, that's it. I don't need seconds. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, look at Tim come in. Oh, no. Hey, Tim. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. Everyone has the same reaction. Uh, uh, we also, where's Roland? Yeah, Roland, oh. come on. E Rock. Have, yeah. have we got any girls in the building this morning? <laughs> no, no, unfortunately, no. At this stage in our careers, we don't know girls anymore. <laughs> uh, Big A, unfortunately. Big A, can we get another like sample <laughs> off the tongue? E Rock, can you get one more sample get off the tongue? One more, E Rock, please. Do some work. Get a good one, Big A, please. <laughs> There's no bad ones, they're all good ones. Get a good one. Get a good one. Get, yeah. Don't throw Get a bit of oh! <laughs> No. It's not a shirt. Here. It's oh, straight, it's on his shirt. He's scraping off his shirt. Look at, look at these guys. It's like they're handling like like a sample of HIV. It they they don't like want to get close to it. They're... What? Oh, oh, it's all lumpy. I just saw it. I got a good look at it. It's like Metallica's load cover. <laughs> all right, get, uh, get, 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 get rolling. Get intern Ron. Get in turn, Ron. Come here, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, young Ron. You can do it. Be a big boy. Huh? All right, young Ron. All right. Does a great job for this us. This is where you get. Uh, Give me that. 
<laughs> Put it on his tongue. Put Put it, it, go, 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 keep going, keep going. we got to make him vomit, go. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Brian, what does that smell like? Awful. I can't put it to words. I don't know oh. what it is. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Where's Roland? <laughs> and stop sniffing it! Steve is wonderful. <laughs> Steve with that spoon is a little gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like tearing from the eyes and red. I wish Dave was here. He won't come in. Come on, Roland. You have to make up for your naughtiness. Roland, come on. Roland. I would love to see Bob Kelly in this situation because oh he would just be. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, dude, dude, that was so bad. Oh, that was so. Beep. Roland, come on, Roland. Just take one come for the on, team. Roland. We all did it. Come on, Roland. One Wait, whiff. I don't care. We're leaving for the weekend after. Now, make sure you smell Roland. it. Don't fake it. We can tell. Then you just got to do it again. Yeah. Roland, how are you today? Smash the f spoon in. You'll be fine. Go ahead, Roland. Just close your mouth. <laughs> Roland. No, smell it. Roland. You got to smell it, Roland. Oh, we'll hold you down if you don't. <laughs> you see his arms? He just went so gay. He just, <laughs> yeah, he just looked like a baby. He put his arms up in the air like... It was like, those, oh, I'm going to get you. He shook his arms back and forth. He did. He went like, Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, did you see it, Jimmy? Uh -huh. Yeah, he yeah you, you got a good look. Dan said that Roland had a, a slight seizure right now. You just had a slight uh, seizure. Oh, my God. Jim, I am so nauseated. Jim, you're up. I, I, I bring over the spoon. Oh, yeah, bring the spoon no, 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 no. Have him go over bring, to it. Bring the spoon I want off. that nowhere near me. All right, Jim Jeffries, who's playing Caroline's tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. A very, very funny comedy. 212 757 4100. I, I do believe he's going to do quite well What's at Caroline's up? this weekend. No, no, it's not. That's not. Yeah. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, I know what it does. I know. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus. You, 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 you get a bit of a burn at the end. <laughs> it's like, like wasabi. It's not bad, but it's, it's when, it, yeah, when it goes up the end towards the hairs and all that. It's powerful wasabi. Go on, Norton, have a go. No, can't do it. I've done some disgusting things, I can't do it. Uh, hey, Opie, what do you think? Do me a favor. You're going to go in? Uh, get, a, get another good scraping. Mm. Get one more good scraping. Oh, I don't know. Get a good, hard, deep scrape. Right, way back. Almost choke yourself. There you Aunt, go. Aunt, are you going to do it? Aunt? Are you insane? <laughs> are you a mad person? That would be the great get. Ah, uh, 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 look at it sliming off on this boat. Oh, 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 oh. I actually thought it was going to be worse. Although well, I do feel kind of ill now. <laughs> yeah. It's looking like cake batter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, Rock, bring it over. I'll, I'll give it a shot. What the hell? I've had a worse tongue than that. I'm not, not close to Anthony. I'm Get not away from me. I swear I'll kill. I'm not I will doing, kill. I'm not doing the the mustache thing though. No, no way. A quick, a quick one. Just a quick one. Nope. I think smelling. Wait, it, wait, wait. Don't do that. Can you get disease of smelling it or? I don't. Put think it down so. there. I just want to look. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't you're do not it. Okay. The, don't do oh, it. Oh god. Oh god. Opie. Hey Opie. Come tongue on. scraping mustache. Come on. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do this. You want to no, you. I did it. Go and do it. Take a good deep yeah. breath through your nose. It's not that bad. It's quite a nice. Jimmy, if I do it, you do it. Can't do it. Come I, on. I, I've done a lot. How about we do, do a tag team? I can't do that. Can't do it. Well, I'll, I'll Kenny. Kenny. I'll throw Me up. and Kenny. I'll throw up horribly. I already feel nauseous. Oh, my God. I can smell from here. Let's get a good one. The only reason I'm doing this is that because you sold 160 tickets in the last half hour. Wow. What are we up to? What, that... Yeah. Another 160 plus. So what are we up to? I don't know. A sellout is 1800 for yeah, the Animation yeah, Festival. Yeah, people are slowing down. Don't disappoint your radio heroes. Tickets Buy are on sale. June Fifth Roseland Ballroom One Animation Festival. Yeah. All right. Now let me smell this. It's over here, Kenny. Hamilton, Brandt, Cornfeld. All right. All right, gonna, get a good one. Come on, I be do it. Do it, do it. Kenny, we're gonna do a tag team here. Ready? Oh, get it over there. You got to get right into it. The first one didn't really hurt me. Oh God. Want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Yeah, Big Kenny. 
Oh. <laughs> Nothing phases him. No, Kenny is really. Un- <laughs> oh. Oh, he's facing Mecca. Oh, he's, he fell on the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Have another go. It might be better now. Look at my eyes. It's not that bad. He's, oh. His eyes are tearing. Holy he's crying. Jimmy, please do this. He's crying. Please do this. Oh, no. Jimmy's oh, doing it. Jimmy. Norton, here we go. Jimmy. 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 <laughs> Look at oh, oh God. He's, he's backed against the wall. One of the better reactions, not to try heaving, but Jimmy, th- does that like? Look at my eyes; that they're watering. It's, it, it, you, it assaults you. I feel sicker now than I did when I smelt it. It was a few minutes before it settled into it's, my. Uh, and it's, it, what it smells like is just bad breath. Really, it's not. I've smelled. If uh, this is a prelude to try to get me to do it, no, it, it certainly will never work. I will I, I never. Can't, I can't get away from me. I swear to you. I can't bad. explain. Save this stuff. Don't throw it out though. Save this I, stuff. I, it, it's, it's, it absolutely smells like bad breath, but there's something else mixed in there. Yeah, it's a salt. It assaults you. It's, it's like uh, it assaults it, you. It assaults you like a, you know, put it in a baggie because yeah. Dave's across the way, and maybe uh, maybe Dave needs a mustache and some money. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my I'm god! I'm trying to smell my own tongue to see how bad it. Everyone's tongue stinks. No, man, I, I've yeah, smelled my own tongue my scraping. One, it's awful. My one it's, smells. Big bad A, I, I want to acknowledge no, 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 it's my, awful on just about everybody. Mine smells bad because it's concentrate. You don't. Your breath doesn't actually smell like that spoon. That's that's like uh, it at its best, if you will. Well, that's not good. I think I popped a f- effing blood vessel in my eye. <laughs> I will say this. That was funny. That was funny when you fell to the ground. Yeah, keep it on there. <laughs> It, oh God, Jimmy! Jimmy nailed it. It, it, it assaults you. Let's put it on. You're like, it's not that bad. Then you get a little closer, and then bam. Oh. What the hell is that, Steve? Get it's the. Zip-lock. That looks get like away. something out of CSI. Get away! <laughs> get away! Big A, uh, great job. We'll get you fixed up. We'll get you to a dentist. You know, whatever. It's fine. It'll be all good. And that uh, we're gonna teach you to shave till you psychopath. <laughs> but we're glad you came in. You're terrific, as he, always. He's a TV star. They loved you. Tommy Central loved you. Never disappoints. Yeah, we uh, shaved his eyebrows for the pilot that we don't know if it's going to get picked up or not, but we did our job. Jim Jeffries, a uh, great comic, man. Uh, tonight, tomorrow, Sunday here at Caroline's in New York. The shows are going to sell out. 212-757-4100. Thank you. And uh, tickets for the o- uh, ONA Animation, the first annual animation festival at the Roseland Theater here in New York, are on sale. We're probably at about 1,200 out of 1,800 sold already. And tickets are on sale now. Less than an hour. For Thursday, tickets June are on 5th. sale now. Just go to Ticketmaster. Tickets are on sale now. Or LiveNation.com. Tickets are on sale now. I didn't hear you. Will you stop? I, what? what, what? Tickets are on oh. sale. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets. 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 What an irritating cop. I have to give you a ticket on sale now. I uh <laughs> We blew off a lot of material to just do tongue scraping for a half hour. It was worth every delicious whiff. I want to thank Touch and Rich for all the support they're giving yep. us up there in Boston. Listen to them later on today if you're uh, a BCN listener, okay? And leave stupid Randy Rhodes alone. Let her do her job. Ah, yeah, whatever. And uh, go listen to Shred and Reagan today for all the people in Buffalo. And Cleveland, what's up? I haven't talked to you in a while. All right. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys Monday. Got a nice little crowd out there. Well... They're three, nice. Three people. And they're, yeah, and they're <laughs> a little. You guys can come by and uh, check out the show. No problem. We got the bleachers set up. You can come any day of the week. It seems like people decide to come by on Fridays. Yeah, Friday's maybe, the day. Maybe they take Fridays off, but I mean, we're here every day, and you can see the show any day you want. Just come on by. You wait outside, what, right around uh, quarter to nine? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. And then we get you up here, you sit on the bleachers, in the uncomfortable bleachers, and you watch the show. They really are uncomfortable. Big metal fucking aluminum or I, some shit. I can't wait to see what Sam does with that it's video. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminium. I know. Yeah. Aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminum. It's aluminum. Like, right? It's al- aluminum foil. Al- aluminium. Al- aluminium foil. Or as the artist called it, tin foil. Tin foil. <laughs> we call it, it uh, tin foil. Yeah, we call it tin foil. Oh, do you? Hey, uh, it's some feedback. A lot of people <laughs> thought the tongue scraping was amazing, and a lot of people had a 
actually punch out. How to turn it off. I'm from the school of it's just hilarious, oh, and I have, to, I have to hang in there till the end. But uh, no, Too disgusting. A bunch of people over at the other joint said they had to like kind of leave studios and leave the radio right. for a while. That ah. just got over-the-top disgusting. I can't wait to see the video Sam puts together. <clears throat> mm. It's going to be terrific. Uh, I don't know what's going on with our ONA Animation Festival tickets. We we try so hard. Oh, I know. To to put a, an event together where we're not you know taking money out of your pockets. We try to keep it cheap or free, and uh, we just never could accomplish that. I mean, I'm I'm hearing all sorts of disgusting things with the service charges, the shipping charges, the venues, the venue fee, this and that. I mean, we wanted a ten dollar ticket. We $10 knew there'd be ticket. some kind of charge. Yeah. But now I'm hearing people like are spending twenty, twenty five dollars for a ticket, even higher than that, close to thirty dollars a ticket after they add in all these other uh charges. And it's not because we jacked uh, the price up at the last minute or did anything. It's still uh what amounts to a ten dollar ticket. But in this day and age they put service charges and so much bullshit on top of everything. Do you reckon there'll be scalpers for this geek? Yeah, they'll be that mm, is Bob Kelly yeah. naked on Pal Talk? Oh, uh, God, what is it he is? doing? It is, that's Bob Kelly. Bob, why, what is he doing? That really is him. God, oh. for a fat man, he's got, like, uh, solid pecs, though. How, how did he get that done? He's, he's, like does. he's quite, he's quite solid, isn't he? Oh. Bobby! <laughs> he's listening oh, to the show, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Fucking, uh, That's got to be the weirdest thing Lick ever. your nipple, like, Bobby. Try to lick your nipple. Bobby's a fat, uh, he's still fat, but he's got, like, uh. well-defined pecs. Like bullets. Ah, oh, he's licking his fingers. But he's, and he has his nice nipple. biceps as well. The whole package is sort of doable. Huh. All right. And it's the fag oh. hanging out of the mouth as well. Which yeah. makes it all the better. Right. Somebody Crisco, uh, she's a reliable source from Whackbag. She writes, I just spent eighty eight dollars on four ten dollar tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, it's revolting. Uh, the fucking Ticketmaster charges. Ten dollar tickets cost eighty eight dollars. <laughs> Shipping so. and handling. That's twenty two dollars per ticket. That uh, trust me. Uh, uh, I just want to say something to um, Bob. Hey, Bobby, you cunt. Why did you tell him about the banana thing? Oh, it was Bob Kelly that did. Well, yeah, he told somebody. He's the one he knew. Well, he's why, the one he knew. Look well, at him. He's just laughing at me. Why don't we get Bob Kelly on the phone? All right, we're trying to get Bob Kelly. Bob, you know the number. Why don't you just give us a call, please? He's smoking. He's topless. He's tweaking his nipples. What the fuck? <laughs> I like the artwork in his house. He's, he's, he's drinking Gatorade. Drinking Gatorade. Drink, drink uh, Gatorade Rain. Less calories. Coffee. Starbucks. And it's not two oh. Starbucks coffees. Very nice. And why is King Very Kong nice. Bundy on television? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's Bob King. Yeah. Hey, um, I just got another. Um, Another communique about the ONA Animation Festival. The prize money at this point is up to $10,000. Wow. That we're going to distribute uh, between Take first, that. second, and third place. Nice. So first place will be at least $5,000. Whoever wins the ONA Animation Festival will win at least $5,000. Five Gs. And then we got another five Gs for second and third. Five Gs. It, and that might even go up. Or we might throw other things in, into this thing. So we uh, we need the animators... We're getting a little nervous. We know there's some animators out there working on stuff, but maybe you could start maybe helping us uh, hype this event. Maybe you call up with your animations and explain what you're doing. I don't know. Because uh, we've got to make sure we have some fine, fine animations well, for this thing. Yeah. And we need you guys to mail in your animations to uh, Opie and Anthony anima Animation Contest, 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500, New York, New York, 10019. All this info is up on opianthony.com. But this event is going to rock. We're thinking of maybe getting Jim Jeffries to do 20, 30 minutes of comedy at the dance. Hey, thing. why not? I will. Am I fly out for it? Who knows? We're going to get, a, uh, we're definitely going to get like two comedians just to break it up a little bit. A bunch of animations up front. Uh, a couple comedians, more animations, and then maybe the final three, and then announce the winner, and and bam, everyone goes home. Hey, uh, uh, has uh, OpenAnthony dot com sent out like a mass mailing and stuff? For what? Mm. Just this whole uh, the whole idea of this. Oh, I don't know. The, to get your tickets and stuff? Yeah, no, yeah, and also the, the tickets will be the sold out. Soon, no, 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 for the animation themselves. Yeah, we'll. Uh, I'm sure. Has yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs okay. up. Good. All Thumbs right. up on that. We're we're doing everything we can to market the hell out of this. We we really want this to be one of these events that we're proud of that we could uh, bring to yeah. the people every year. Uh, Huge. There's a lot of fun. Yeah, in the absolutely. Crowd. Absolutely. All right. I want to get into some other things today? Sure. We have the Seinfeld car crash 911 call. 911 911 call. Uh, we got the pregnant man on Oprah. <laughs> car crashes? What are all they about? <laughs> you know when you're in your car and you smash into something. I don't understand what happened. 
on. Well, we You're to, on your phone. We have to back up and say hi to Bob Kelly. Bob. Oh, Bobby. Hey, what's up, man? Where are you? Bobby, what are you doing? I'm, in, uh, I'm, I'm in, in West Palm. I just got done doing my morning radio zoo. <laughs> what show did you do? I don't know. What was the name of the show? Two guys and a girl. And a cup. Did you do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you do Loper and uh, Schmitty? Uh, I don't know. Did you do? Uh, I think I, huh? I, I'm doing one this afternoon too. No, what morning show did you do? Um, hang on, let me see if I have a piece of paper. I have no idea. I just go in and do them. One was a, a husband and wife. Husband and wife team. A, a, re a real one. Wow. Kevin and yeah, Virginia. Actually, yeah, real husband and wife. Cunt and pussy whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do a radio show with your wife? I don't know. There's a TV show in Britain called Richard and Judy. Hey, guy. How are you? Jeffrey Ross entered hey. the studio. Hi, Jeff. And um, Bobby. What's up? I uh, I got your DVD slash CD. Oh, you got it? I got an advanced copy. It looks great. I can't wait to actually watch it, but the packaging looks good. Oh, cool. Did you not try to rip <laughs> it up and throw it down a flight of stairs yet? No, All downhill man. from there. We don't mess with that crap. But when, when does it come out? Tuesday? Uh, CD comes out Tuesday in stores, yeah. It's called uh, just... Specials on tonight. It's, yeah, the Comedy Central oh. specials tonight with Bob Kelly. Next Tuesday, his DVD slash CD comes out. Uh, just the tip, right? Yeah, just the tip. And there's a bunch of videos on ComedyCentral.com, including one with uh, Jim Norton, Louis C.K., Patrice, and Colin, where they just literally ripped me apart. Very nice. Now, uh, Bob, I, I hate to admit this, but... Um... For, like, kind of a chubby guy, I can't even really call you fat anymore because you are starting to lose weight. For a chubby guy, you got <laughs> well defined pecs. What's that about? I've been working out. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I don't want to look that close, but. And then oh, Jim Jeffries that. noticed he, that he you really... have nice biceps. Look at these biceps. <laughs> He's all man, the Kelly. The Kelly. The Kelly's all man. Why is he there no, he's, shirtless? No, I'm though. telling you. Uh, he's, you he's a, my... You're a bear. You're a bear. In the gay world, you're a big bear. Yeah. What, you know, you call them out over here. Yes, the absolutely. big fat guys are bears, bears and tw twinks. No, what we did this whole bit. What was it again? Twinks, twinks I'm and a sloppy and, bottom. You're a sloppy party bottom, Bobby. I'm a sloppy party bottom bear twink. Bobby, you uh, we're just getting to know this Jim Jeffries character, and uh, you gave us uh, the greatest thing indirectly. We learned today that he's deathly afraid of bananas. I kept that secret for a long he's time. Like monk. But how did you <laughs> find out that he he's scared of bananas? I was eating a banana, and I came near him, and he flipped out <laughs> like uh, I raped him in high school. Were <laughs> you ever a kiss scout? <laughs> Scoutmaster? <laughs> yeah, we can tell the story over here. Uh, we also learned that Jim Jeffries got the shit beat out of him by his mom because, because he wouldn't go to scouts anymore because... Uh, the, well, the Scoutmaster used to put me in a corner and call me names and wank on my face. Oh, That's so <laughs> <laughs> what have I walked into? No, no, Bobby no, Kelly's no, naked. No, that, was, that was it, really. I, as I said, it wasn't that bad. You wait, know, it wasn't great. Wait, he, but, no. did he come on your face? Uh, he used to wink on me, yeah. What would he call you? What kind of names? No, it was just calling me a fucking bad boy and shit like that. It wasn't <laughs> It wasn't like names as such. It wasn't like, you would know. You look at it? Like, you, would you look at it a little? No, uh, there's a little bit. Keep looking at my eyes and stuff. It's the same things I make grown people do now. Did he? <laughs> Did he, did he, uh, like, like, would it go in your mouth? A little bit, No, right? a, li a little bit, a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All, all, all I'm saying is that being, being I, I think some people get molested and some people get molested, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I was on the lower scale. It wasn't, you know, I walked away from it. You walked okay? I walked okay. I I, uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed everything else to do with scouts. I could still tie a good bow shank. <laughs> and it, it was just bow line. So he's, it? And he's kind of like uh, taking the military approach. A lot of our boys go over there to the Middle East, Iraq, and all that, and they come back okay. And others, they're they're, uh, they're shell shock. Shell shock. Yeah, I've been seeing so most I traumatic from stress. Your I, I think I'm okay. But yesterday we're talking about me felching people's assholes out and saying that that's an okay activity. Yeah. 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 And so there's a few issues that, might be why. that are underlying here. But uh, he, st he still lives a couple of streets up from your parents. Why don't you beat the shit out of him? Well, he went to prison for a while, and you know, I, I, I hate ex-girlfriends, but I don't go around and hit them. <laughs> They're paying for it! You suck it! <laughs> <laughs> and he's an old man now, he's an old man. He's, yeah, but that's good, you could go in like, uh... <laughs> Uh, Simon Wiesenthal with an old Nazi or something and just kind of <laughs> you know, attack him. So, so Bobby, this I actually I actually blew a guy for a steak 
when I was in uh, first grade, so that's not bad. <laughs> For a steak, like yeah, a, a bit of meat? Yeah, he took a T-bone steak on his uh, roof, and he uh, made me go in the closet and put it in my mouth. <laughs> Just wow. so you could have the steak? You must yeah, really I like steak. So. It was a nice T-bone steak. Yeah, though. look at him. Wow. He's a big boy. You took a bone for a T-bone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mm. yeah, Bobby, so, um, yeah, so this was going on at Scout. So he goes home and he decides, you know what, I don't feel like being uh, molested anymore. So he stopped going to Scout. So then his mom got pissed that he wasn't going to Scouts and beat the shit out of him. With the Scout belt. <laughs> With the scalp belt. With the scalp belt. You've seen the buckles oh. on those things. They're massive. She clubbed me to hell with a scalp belt. Did you ever belt. tell your mom? And I, had, I had a little chunk in the back of my head that was bleeding, and so she had to take me into the hospital, right? And I go into the hospital, and my mom's sitting there with me, and they go, so, James, how did this happen? And I went, well, mum told me not to ride me bike so fast down the hill. Uh, like, I, I couldn't go through the whole thing. Oh, you I, couldn't rat her out. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't rat her out because, you know, I could be put in some foster care home where I'll get molested and yeah. beaten with a belt, which would have been, you know, <laughs> yeah. involved packing, which I didn't want to get into. That would have been the only difference from the situation I was already in. But I was a suitcase away from that. Unbelievable. Did you ever tell your mom? No, I told me parents, the guy went to prison for eight months. For you, because of what he did to you? you have to yeah, testify. Me, me and a couple... No, no, I didn't. No. It, it was, he pleaded guilty and yeah. done deal. It was me and a couple other guys, and then he just moved back into the neighborhood, wow. and I, I hear he's uh, back at Scouts. No, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, right. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's been banned from that institution. Oh, did he make you open your mouth and, like... No, there wasn't... It, 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 there was always a bit of like shame it. with him while he was doing it. He, he was uh, always yeah. regretting it as he went along. Like, oh, I, I'm horrible. Oh, I'm horrible. But his kid went to our school. Oh, boy. Because, like, you know, the scoutmasters are always the father of one of the kids. So his kid was a kid we knew. Mm. And so then he gets put down for, he gets put into prison for a couple of kids at our school. Oh. That kid had a hard time. The what amount of torture. times we held him down and wanked on his face was unbelievable. Oh, my God. No, we never... Do you have, like, seagulls? In the, like, the, the, like, you know the, the, the tricks where you, like, uh, wet willies, where you stick your finger yep. in someone's ear? Do you have yeah. a seagull? What's the seagull? The seagull is this thing sweeping Britain, which when I was a kid, no one admitted to masturbating, right? No one ever yeah. talked about it. You, you got to about 16 before you told one bloke or something, right? Are you kidding? That's different than in America. You know, you want to share with other... other. No, no, no. I was denying You want to share your knowledge years. with other other guys like, dude, I hold, I, did you realize you no, want to no, share no, that no, knowledge? No, no, no. No, no, one, no, one, no, not in Australia. No, no, no. So there's this thing called seagulling now where what you do is you go into the toilet, wank on your hand, and then you wait for a kid to pass by, smash it against his face, and go seagull like a seagull showing him. <laughs> that's that's where they've gone from wet willies to smashing cum on another kid's head. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh my you God. know what I mean? Like what that's a, that's a pretty. What like, are the odds that you have bald guys that actually suck cock <laughs> what? in the studio at one time? What's that? I said, "What? Are, uh, I'm not doing that." <laughs> <laughs> What have I walked like into? Bobby Kelly's naked. Everybody's jerking off on each other's faces. I yeah, never I got know, a seagull, funny. but my friend Dean, me and my friend Neil were at his house when we were like fucking 12. <laughs> and Dean was in the bathroom for a long time. We might have been. And Dean came out. We didn't know what he had in his hand. And he goes, uh, he, he, he goes to Neil, you've been given head. And he wiped his load in his hand across Neil's mouth. <laughs> and, and he tried to wipe it on my face, but I had glasses back then. <laughs> And it, it swooped on my glasses and pulled up, like, in the bottom half of the glasses oh, and didn't touch my skin. How much jizz did this guy have oh, in his hand? He's a young man. <laughs> there is something horny about getting sucked off by a girl with glasses, and when the cum gets on it, there's something about that yeah. that I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called humiliation, which you're used to. Bad boy, look me in the eyes. <laughs> yes. Open your mouth just a bit now. So open your mouth just a bit. So my, Jack, my mother read reviews of me doing material about that on stage, and she goes, why do you have to disgrace the family all the time? You hit me with a fucking belt while I was being molested. She's there going, <laughs> tell her yes, to but I, I didn't know. Tell her to stop dis disgracing the family and uh, and lose some weight. Yeah, well, I'm oh, just glad. Geez. I'm just glad. To <laughs> oh, poor, poor mum. Sorry. No, I, I just, she, she never left the block of land that we live on by foot. Really? No, never. She's been there for like 35 years. She's never left by foot. Once there was like a soccer game that I was playing in as a kid that was up the road, the soccer field was so close to where I lived, people were parking out the front of our house. My mum just circled the block until she got slightly closer. <laughs> so she didn't walk off your property? Never! Never! She never set foot off the block of land we grew up on. She's probably afraid of being stranded.
Yeah. And not being able to walk back. <laughs> hey, Jim, Jeff, Jeffries, did you tell them the story about your girl when the house got broken into? You know, it's yeah, yeah, we told that last time, didn't we? About it's when, worth, uh, you know what? We have a lot of new listeners since the last time you were here. I, I wouldn't mind hearing that story again. It's, it's quite horrific. I can't even remember where the jokes were in it, but I, I <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you earlier. Sometimes it's about just telling an interesting I, 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 I was, story. I was, I was, I was getting a tidbit out. There. I was at home. <laughs> I was at home in Manchester with me mate watching a movie, and my girlfriend was uh, next door, and uh, in the sleep in the bedroom. Me and my mate was stoned watching the Unforgiven. I think. And at four in the morning, two guys came through the window, one with a machete and one with a hammer. And they, they, they tied me up, and there's a scar there on the side of my head where they cut my head, and they put a shoe bag over my face, and all the blood rushed out into the front of the bag. And then they threatened to rape my girlfriend um, while I was tied up on the ground. And uh, it was good. I got a good lot of material out of it. But this is the weird thing, right? So they got me on the ground. I got these pictures and stuff on my chest of drawers of all my nephews and nieces. And one, the nice one out of the two, right? He's a good guy. The other guy was a bit of a prick. And, uh, and he pulls up, pulls up a picture and goes, either you guys got kids. And my mate Steve's on the ground like this. And he goes, I got a, a five-year-old boy. Like that, right? So I think, fucking hell, you don't have kids. Like, they're going to fucking kill me now, right? They're going to fucking kill me. So I go, I got a four-year-old girl. Right? And my mate tries to top me by going, My one's retarded! <laughs> <laughs> How's that gonna help? Yeah, well, you know, you're not gonna kill the guy with a retarded kid. He needs all the loving. <laughs> yeah, that retarded kid needs all the help he can get. <laughs> But uh, they, they why left did they the, come through your window? Were they looking for drugs? Did, were they, you guys they, known they, to have they drugs thought, in the house? No, they thought we were drug dealers because, we, being comics, we we had a fair bit of cash. I drove a nice car, and I didn't seem to go to work. And when I did go to work, it was for like two days. But I didn't. If if you knocked on my door at three in the afternoon, I'd answer in my underwear eating a bowl of cereal. Why right? did, and that's uh, drug dealer behavior. If you've why ever did you seen. leave the window open? Because no, we, we were in the house and it was hot. It was the middle of summer. It was Is it a nice oh, neighborhood. God, it was an all right neighborhood. But they came through actually the second story window at the bathroom. And they, why was that window left open? Because the, the, you shit in the bathroom and it smells oh, bad, so you Jesus. open a window. You batten down the hatches. But it, we, we were in the house. Yeah. Robert Kelly's acting like a girl. Oh God, he's doing the talk. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What has happened here today? <laughs> what the hell, Bob? Bobby Kelly's on Pal Talk doing the tuck, and it looks like he's wearing flesh panties. Oh, my God. It's it's like his cock's gone down one side. It's like his one big flap on the side of his cane. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, show us, show us Fly's eyes. Right. Kenny, cancel our bagel sandwich. And now he's vomiting. Do you call that oh, he just held open the crack of his ass, and there was like a fucking... What? Loading Bob, his big what hair hanging you? out. What is wrong with you, Bob? Bobby's just. I was, I was telling. A, I was telling a heartfelt story about yeah, my no robbery, kidding. and Bobby goes, "I'll put my cock between me legs, so it looks like I got a cunt." Yeah, yeah. He, he looked like he had a bunch. good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. A, a mangina for you guys. Yeah, I, thank a you. A mangina. That's what this show needed today. Oh, so gosh. Jim, so what? How did this end? So you're well, they, they got uh, they got twelve years in prison, which they'll be out probably in six or something like that. They pleaded innocent, because, even though they were wearing balaclavas in the middle of June. Mm -hmm. Like they were driving in my car with a whole bootload of shit. They go, no, we went there. We just found this car and got in it. Yeah. And, and they went to one of them. They go, w why? Why are you wearing balaclavas? And he's like, it's it's me style. <laughs> that was his excuse. <laughs> my, my mate Steve. This is, this is the line he said. This is what happened, right? My mate Steve used to be the drummer for Pine Mortal, and he was the relief drummer for Faith No More when they came out to Australia. So he's like a heavy metal guy, right? And they came through the window, and he said to me, he goes, Look, I think you've uh, chosen the wrong house. Uh, all I have in this house are 20,000 heavy metal records, <laughs> and I assume you like hip-hop. Right? It was just oh, the most... Shit. Like, oh. that, that didn't help the situation nah, at all. No, I can imagine it wouldn't. Did they leave the girl alone? I don't remember. Um, yeah, they held a knife to the throat and threatened to rape her a few times, and, and then they didn't. But the funny thing was, when I was getting tied up, I thought to myself, I thought, Fuck. They're going to tie everyone up. So while they were doing it, I kept on acting like it was hurting my wrists. So that they'd do it, like, uh, loosely. So that when they tied everyone up, I could escape and do some ninja shit yeah. and sort everything out. But then they they just held me hostage. They didn't tie anyone else up. So, uh, but she was all right. But I was tied up with the fucking cord from my girlfriend's hair straighteners. The power cord, uh -huh. right? And my, when they left, my mate went and got a knife and cut me free. 
And the girl, she didn't cry when they had a machete to her throat, said they were going to rape her. But then we, I turn around, she's holding up the power cord, just bawling her eyes out. Going, <laughs> going, her fucking yeah, hair going you can, I'm only buying this brand in America. When am I going to America again? I can't even fucking get them. Like this wow. Go, Are you crying about your hair straighteners? I'm still bleeding from the head. Holy shit. She's the one who Was this in. England or Australia? This is, England. This is Manchester. Yeah. Jim, this is Anthony's worst uh, nightmare, you know. Yeah. I this am. Why Anthony has all his guns. A nut. Well, I exercised my Second Amendment right again yesterday, by the way. I um, have a brand right? new uh, weapon. What is it? Very happy. I have a SIG P220. Hmm. 45 <laughs> caliber oh, pistol. Shit. He's going to be carrying <clears> That now. is. Uh, a beautiful little weapon. But what's the use of having it? Like in my situation, even if I had a gun, they yeah. just came through the door, bang, knife. Uh huh. Where, uh, what, you carry it with you all the yes, time? Yes, exactly. You carry it with you all the fucking time. So around That's your house, what you around do. your house, you're rocking around with a Why gun. Why wouldn't you walk around with a gun? I get on you, so in your depressed. House. If I had a gun with me all the time, I would have killed myself fifty <laughs> times already. <laughs> like just yeah. at the lowest moment, I would just go boom. And would be you really? really? I really would be dead oh, now okay. if I owned a gun. Well, then Absolutely. you probably shouldn't own one. I, you know, I'm not a cutter or anything, but I could definitely go a bullet. Really? Oh. Oh, oh, yesterday that about two o'clock, feeling oh a bit my down. God. Yeah, oh my god. Feeling a bit down. He would just pull the trigger. Couldn't decide what I wanted for lunch. It would have been all over. No, I really, I really would be dead if I owned a gun. Really? Yeah, not a shadow of a doubt. If I owned a gun, if I had a gun with me at any time, I'd be dead or would have killed a couple of people in a row. Wow, rage. okay, yeah, then you shouldn't That's have a gun. That's why I think gun. it's bad. It's bad to have guns. No, yeah. it's good to have guns. No. Anthony, you don't think you're taunting lunatics right now? I'm not taunting lunatics. I, uh, what are they going to do? If a lunatic's a lunatic, he's going to do something bad. I'm not taunting anybody. But but aren't the statistics right. just, because I, you have gun crime? I am a card-carrying member of the National Rifle You're Association. You're a gun-carrying member of the National yes, Rifle Association. Yes, I'm a gun-carrying <laughs> member. A, do you have a gun on you right now? No. Then what's your policy on carrying it with you all the time? He just what got if it. I have Club Soda Kenny. Yeah, but he has other guns. That's not his first. He's like fucking Elvis. <laughs> He's got other guns. Jim, I, I have Club Soda Kenny. I went through... Uh, He's my security guy. I, I got a tour of Anthony's house about two or three weeks ago. I was amazed at... I lost count. What, what, what did I say? It's like Billy it, out of... I, I think I lost count at around eight. I like guns. They're eight fun. guns. Eight guns in his house. How was his house? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the gun Pretty I just empty. got. Okay, have you ever had TVs? Guns have, and flat uh, flat uh, screens. That's what Ann has. Have you ever held a gun up to a person? Mm -mm. In rage? No. For fun, he has, though. No. Have you no. ever played around in bed with it? Uh, no, no. Never played in bed. Have I've, you ever I've taken cleaned my guns in bed? Like you're shooting a friend? I've cleaned my guns in Anthony bed. Anthony That was his... just before my girlfriend left me. Wow. Well. <laughs> I hope they don't shoot your guns in real life like you do in Call of Duty 4 because you stink. All right, smart ass. <laughs> I know. I stink at that game. And Have you uh, ever ever wanked with a gun in your mouth? Mm. Mm. No, cock, but not never a gun. No, <laughs> no, I don't find guns, uh, sexy. you know, like that. Uh, but you just looked at that gun and said, "Isn't it sexy?" It's a pretty gun. Isn't it a pretty gun? Look at it. Doesn't yeah. that look like? Doesn't yeah. that look like something you just want to have on you all the time? That's what you got. Yeah, that looks cool. The handle is cool. Looks like it's a fun thing to hold. The yeah, handle. it is. It's very good. Can you bring it in and we There's all just get something to hold it? Uh, no, I can't bring how it in. How many bullets does that Please. thing hold? How many? How, how many can you chuck uh, out? You put about eight in there. Yeah. Oh, what are you allowed to do? You allowed to take it out of the house? No. Yeah. What's the law? When it's are you allowed a, to shoot a person? It's a, uh, y y there. There's um, uh, you have to be in danger of your life, or you have to feel like you're in danger of, of your life or being taken. So I, I could have shot those guys in my house. Or political disagreement. Yes. Uh, yeah, you absolutely could have shot those guys in, in your house. See, the, the thing is, if I shot someone in my house in England in that situation, I'd be in prison right now. There's deadly what? physical force laws. No, you, you can't. Doesn't matter. Really? Are you shitting England me? Sucks. If you're in fucking England and people break into your house and you kill them, you, you're fucked? Yeah, you're fucked. You're supposed to just take the you, shit? You can no, you, fuck you, England. You, 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 you gotta blow a whistle. You can, you, can, <laughs> you can restrain them until the cops get there with their batons. It's just a stupid... The that is the country. dumbest well, fucking thing but the cops I've ever heard. have guns in England, Some right? of them do. Yeah, I, I was fighting with... The, but the, the, the bobbies don't, no. They got their weird hats, and that's scary. Oh, my yeah. God. I couldn't imagine that. No, you just need a, just a, a gun on you. So no, when somebody you know, broke into my hotel room one time, and I was sleeping. I, if I had shot him... Where? Tempe. 
Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, nice that sounds justifiable. Stage, right? Jeff, yeah. What? Wait, Jeff, what happened to Jeffrey Jeff, Ross now? Jeff had a knife pulled on him on stage, didn't you? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah, true, yeah. Bobby. That's oh, true. Yeah, actually, Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that was a different, different time. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, Bobby, that other time, too. Holy shit, I'm an instigator. Obviously. Yeah. What happened in Tempe? Tempe, I was at this hotel. Um, uh, What's it called? Shit. Anyway, I'm Doesn't sleeping. Matter. I'm about. To, I gotta get up for at six in the morning. Well, uh, a good hotel, or like a shitty motel. Nice hotel. Oh wow! Second floor balcony. So a guy climbed up. Oh. And there'd been like rapes and murders for months. Oh, going great. on in Tempe. That's, That's a nice, cool breeze. And about four thirty in the morning, I hear the the door, the the balcony door, start to open. Holy oh, it's shit! Scary. At least you heard it. I'm naked. I'm half asleep because I gotta get up in an hour for radio. And I just and, and I go, get the fuck out! I go, get the fuck out of here! And the guy just, I see the hand quiver. It's the hand is now six feet from my head. Oof. And he goes, uh, 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 security, sorry. And I hear him fucking run. And they caught him on video camera climbing over the wall. Really? Yeah. I just wait. Understand. What do you have in his hand? A knife or a gun? Nothing. Oh, he's, just, okay. he's just coming to steal your cash, cock. wasn't he? He just wanted to <laughs> thought you'd be I think he sleeping. was coming to rape some chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the wrong guy. But he heard the fucking he voice. A, he was thought a Chucky Jew, and he <laughs> called it off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It probably sounded like you were awake and fuck. He didn't know. Ross, I should have, Bobby. I should have played your new CD and scare him off. <laughs> Ross, I, uh, no, come on, a joke. A Ross, joke. I had the exact same story. I've told it a million times in Buffalo. But it's the guys on the street taking a nap during the day, and I wake up because I I feel a presence in the room. And there's a black guy in a hoodie pulled down tight, <sighs> inches from my face. Oh. And I just open my eyes and I just go, what are you doing here? And I was like, w and as I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, I'm like, holy shit, you got to be kidding me. He got up real fast and ran. And there was a rapist uh, loose in Buffalo at the time. And he was checking out to see oh. if I was a girl, I think. And, and, and what, the, the man voice. And what he, decision he did he make? Oh, you're man. Uh, no, he ran. He One ran. time when I looked down at 300. The fuck out of me, though. Uh, no. it, it is terrifying. I, I can't. I can't live on a. I live on like a top floor now, uh, apartment in London. I don't. I don't live. I wouldn't live on the ground. I'm super careful now. Yeah. 300 Mercer. When I first moved to New York, I, I just. I, I went down to get my laundry, and I was downstairs for five minutes. Lo I'm pretty sure I locked the door, but it doesn't matter because he probably picked it. And I open the door and I walk in, and there's just this crackhead in my bedroom, and Holy he's like quivering shit. like a Holy deer. Crap. And I look at him, and he looks at me, and it's just like we both know what's happening. And he's like, "Where's Dave? I'm supposed to play soccer with Dave." He's out that window, you motherfucker. And I back off, and I let him run out, and he takes the steps, and I take the elevator, and I beat him, and me and the doorman trapped him in the revolving door for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just sat in the revolving door, banging on it. <laughs> a rat trap, like, like catching yeah, a, a fly trap. under a plastic cup. So finally, yeah. finally, the cops we drag him back in. And they take him in. And he's like, obviously, he had AIDS and stuff. He was a drug addict. And I go up back up the stairs, and I find like some a broken watch and my tape recorder with like my act on it from the night before. Like he just stole whatever was right oh. there. And then he, like six months later, I was in Union Square and I saw him just peeling through the intersection. As, like, they eventually let him out. I never pressed charges, I don't think. And then he just ran. I saw him st robbing somebody else. Unbelievable. Monsters. Squash There's bug. monsters out there. Mm. Monsters. You hear this, Jim Jeffries? I know monsters, monsters out there. Yeah. Ants well armed. Maybe they got it's it right in England. No, because worry about it's a fucking scout master a jerking off on his face. No, that's a straight. Comes in the house or I'll whack off for machete. 10 minutes. I'll, t I'll tell you what, the crime in Australia is very low for things like house burglary and stuff like that. But yeah? It's, it's much worse in Britain. But you know, they, they, they allow Australia? guns in Australia. Um, no, you're not Everyone's allowed to have a kangaroo guard. Yeah, things. you're not allowed to have, <laughs> have a gun, but the cops you carry. You got a cute no? koala bear looking out for you. Yeah, yeah, they got like stingrays in Australia and things of that that's nature. That's stingray. That's Steve Irwin. He fucked, right. he fucked with that stingray. There's no way in the world that cunt was just going and giving it a bit of a pat. I'm with you. It's like uh, three, to, three people have died from stingray attacks in like the last 50 years. And the last guy was a guy in New Zealand who was a fisherman who caught a whole lot of fish in a net. There was a stingray on top of the fucking fish. So he picks up the stingray to chuck it overboard. So he's physically holding the thing that stabs him through the heart, right? You can't.
don't. I've swum with stingrays. They don't fucking come near you. They let you yeah. pet them at all. Yeah, the you, fucking you've got to world. hold them and stuff yeah. and wrestle with them. And he got fucking. He got what's coming to him. I reckon. You think a stingray <laughs> knows where the heart is, or it's just random? It just shot. randomly. It doesn't know where. Yeah. The how heart many people is. have been stabbed in other places where they lived? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. By, by a just, stingray. You heard about the latest ray story, right? You, it wasn't a stingray, but the greatest ray story happened a mere that two weeks ago. One. Some huh. ladies in a boat in Florida, Marathon, Florida, and they're tooling along at a, a at a nice clip. And one of these rays that jumps out of the water decides to jump at that time and smacks her in the face. <laughs> Hit her right in the face. And, a and, big and kills her instantly. I think it was 75 pounds or something. Big and just ray. smacked her right in the head, oh, killed her a instantly. A sea monster jumps out of the water and kills her, a basically. A six-foot wingspan, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. It's massive. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, a right, massive right, water right, bat. Right. Happens to jump out of the water, water as the boat's going by. Can you imagine the odds? And this thing hits her square in the face, pretty much just about takes her head off. But that's dead. just unfortunate. That's just half. That's so, can you keep a stingray in your apartment in London to protect yourself? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just hold him up and throw, throw his tail at the uh, assailant. If someone breaks in, you have to lure them into the tub with a stingray. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like, in, in Australia, right, let's say it's, they have like um, three, or four, <laughs> three or four shark deaths a year, right? Great whites. So now, great whites. Uh, like an endangered species, you can't just, you know, go kill a great white shark. But if somebody gets killed by one, they pull out uh, like a bounty on its head. The oh, government yeah. go, oh, let's search and find this shark and kill it. But it's, anyone can do it. You don't have to be like a professional shark, so you get a whole lot of fucking cowboys with harpoon guns. Well, it's the famous scene yeah. from Jaws. Just They're killing whatever shark they feel like killing. Yeah. And you have to kill the shark for. Uh, 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 for, uh, uh, what, Kenny? Uh, Can I interrupt the show for an important update? Sure, Kenny, Kenny has an update. Tickets are off sale now. Tickets are off sale now. two hours, you only have 500 tickets left to sell, and the show will be sold out. Wow. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah. So tickets listen, are on pass, sale pass now. Pass five tickets. Linger longer. No. Oh, God. What are they buying tickets for? They don't even know. Tickets the, are oh, on sale Jeff now. Jeff doesn't know. I don't know. The Opie and Anthony Animation Festival. Tickets are on Thursday, sale now. June 5th. Tickets are on Roseland sale now. Ballroom. Tickets are tickets on sale are on now. Sale now. <laughs> tickets it's, are on it's gonna sale now. It's going to be comedians. It's going to be short animation films. It, it's going to be a tickets real love are on fest. Sale now. And if Anthony's there, maybe a fuck fest. Tickets are on sale now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Tickets are on sale now. That's why he's got his That's guns. Nice. Yeah. That was clever. Look at you. Anthony's on tickets the prowl. Tickets are on sale now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the prowl. Now you know why you carry a gun, Anthony. Yeah. Huh? Protect me from Kenny. I missed something. You need it. Anthony needs a gun to protect him. Himself from his own security guard. <laughs> I want this show sold out by the end of the day, so when O and A get on the radio Monday morning, they can talk about their great weekend and let everybody know the shoulders sold out. The Thank show, you. The shoulders yeah, you sold out. You don't even need yeah. to sell that by the day. You got the whole weekend. It's gonna. It's gonna come. Where did tickets gone. go on sale? Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are on sale now. <laughs> when did Luca Brazzi start working for Ticketmaster? <laughs> tickets are on no, sale now. I work for O and A. The comedy geniuses of radio. Oh, all right. Right. Of He's so fucking New York, that cunt, isn't he? Jersey, you my right. friend. Oh, it's the same I'll shit. Jersey. Jersey, New York. I want to put a bounty on Kenny's head. The first person to slap Kenny in the face with, with, with a cum hand. <laughs> oh. Seagull him. Wins a big kiss. Seagull. Kenny, right. do you remember when you met me in like 1991? Do you remember? I remember it very vividly. What happened, Ross? I'm in Bananas uh, uh, in Poughkeepsie. Uh, I'm opening for Ray Romano, who's a prop act still at the time. Was Andrew Romano a prop act? Andrew, yeah. He was no. an actual prop act? Yeah. No. Oh, he did a stand-up, <laughs> and then the last ten minutes, he, he did a couple props. He, he, that he put a rubber thing. band on his hair, and it, it like went up like a volcano. That was him? He, he had kids. He was trying to headline, and he didn't have the material, so he mm. had like ten minutes of shit at the end. Jeez. Wow. So anyway, uh, this is like 1990. Hey, guys, I have uh, Colin Quinn on the phone. Oh, great. Oh. Jeez, oh, nice Colin. interruption. Hi, Colin. What's happening, guys? How are you, Colin? Oh, I'm grand, grand. What? <laughs> Still, I can't believe I'm on the show. It's about modern technology. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Did Bob Kelly wake you up? No, actually, I'm awake. Why are you up so early? Alive and kicking. I was just calling him to see maybe he fell back asleep after his morning radio so I could wake him up, you know? Why? Well, help each other get over those crazy times on the road. Oh, you know, Colin's tired from pushing Jerry's Porsche down the road the other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colin, you, Colin, yeah. you talked to Jerry Seinfeld about that accident? Yeah, but 
then a night later, his Porsche died, and I had to give him the old jump start. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, he, his Porsche died on uh, Manetta Way, and he had Colin push his one of 38 Porsches down the side street to get it started. To have to bump start yeah. it, yeah. What what the fuck is well, Jerry own like a bunch of shitty cars? The brakes fail, the thing doesn't start. Bought a bunch of lemons. Yeah. Now come on, I heard you guys talking about the old uh, yesterday on the show from the old days, Jimmy Jack, the Jimmy Jackson days. You know, <laughs> oh, Colin, you remember, yeah, you Colin believe, remembers Colin remembers Raymond Maragall. You know, one of those. <laughs> Like uh, Anthony's, uh, you know, Grapes of Wrath family that moved out to the West Coast. Grapes of Wrath. Those are fine cars. Yeah. And by the way, when I heard Patrice on yesterday philosophically rambling, yes. I literally was spitting my teeth out of my mouth. <laughs> I really had it with his... Yeah, you know, it's funny. He's like musing, him and Norton. <laughs> 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 well, what really got you about that whole thing? What really gets, here's what gets me in general. I think yeah. Bob is guilty of it too, probably, but I can't remember offhand. In the past two years, I've heard both Patrice and Norton experts go, that was good radio. <laughs> I want right. to express it not to be this. used by fucking radio fucking people. Hey, you want to read? That's good radio. Shut the fuck up. What do you know about good radio, you phony little fake Half radio guys, you know? Not a lot we put you on. <laughs> no, it's two, same joke in Ooh, two minutes. Of oh, course. Hey, well uh, delivered to sitcom. <laughs> sitcom? Hold well, well, on, another thing you know you nothing on. about. I <laughs> love it. Oh, oh. Give us a stronger line for the out on that, would you? Why? I thought it was pretty good, Morty. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you got the Esther letter still? Oh, no, it's over at, CB oh, at CBS. fuck. What did she call him? What's that? There's a woman named Esther who writes us sometimes. And she was critiquing your appearance in the Sarah Silverman biography. And she was <laughs> noticing... My appearance? Yeah. She critiqued... You like my outrage? Yeah, I know. My appearance? She critiqued the, uh... <laughs> she critiqued the fact that you've, uh... You've put on a few metric tons. A few... <laughs> a few LBs. And, uh... Yeah, and well, she... you can't sue her for slander, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's good radio. I came on. It's so much livelier than when Bob was on, and he actually oh. generously pushed me in this conversation. Bob fucking Bob was, fucking calm. Bob was getting so ignored, he fucking turned around and opened his asshole <laughs> on Pal Talk. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing we do as a boy for attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now that's hey, it. Colin, oh, that's hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. Keep talking. What's that, Bob? Oh, you do. I'm talking to Colin. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's trying to call he's trying to call me the Queen of England. Hey Colin, do you remember when Ray Romano used to do props at the end of his show? No. I don't know what <laughs> Norton used to do. What's what? that? Norton used to do him. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you did. A prop act. Prop act. I'd, I in would... the enema bag in the parachute pants. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Wait, yeah. what's that bitch, Jimmy? Yeah, you forgot about the woman in five years you started. <laughs> My, uh, the, the enema joke I used to do. I used to you have used an, to bring enema... an enema bag on stage? It was an enema in a box, a fleet enema, and it was in a brown paper baggie. And I would talk about how enemas are addicting. And then I would do this thing about an enema junkie. It was fucking... Oh, no, you did like, I hope you guys laugh. I had to buy this thing, you know, just <laughs> muscling it and overly eager. <laughs> muscling it. Oh, you've never oh, seen a fucking more muscled piece of material. Yeah, there was also a message at the end of the act, like, hey, you know, addiction's a serious problem, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. You ended up by going, we all have addictions we have to look at. That's all I'm trying to say. Good night. Oh. All I'm trying to say is... Don't lump me. Don't have to change. Do, do me a favor. Don't lump me with stupid voice. I have 14 years, 8 hours, and 10 yeah. minutes without a drink or a drug in my yeah. body. It's really horrendous. Go, go for the cheap uh, applause at every show. Well, that in all fairness, 22 years sober. With Voss, addiction is a problem, and diction is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Line of the day. <laughs> but he's not, he's not saying, look, I'm sober. It's the fucking dramatic way he sets it up without a drink or a drug in my body. Like, wow, it really is a temple, isn't it? Yeah, no. that's great. Fucking asshole. Right. Always, always ex alcoholics are always bragging. The fucking hippie hop on his right. kidney. What, Carl? <laughs> no, just all this good now. How about the other day when he hit Keith in the kidney? I can't believe there was like a mini race war going on at your, your pilot taping. Yeah. <laughs> God, God, the word got out fast about that. 
Oh, he gave Voss a beating. I was talking to Keith the day later, and he goes, I got to hear off Voss is on the other line. Voss called him up. He's not satisfied. This is like a serious thing going on. Yeah, but Voss thinks he actually threw a legitimate karate kick, and he's <laughs> fucking, he jumped like an inch off the ground, and he needed him <laughs> in bed fully. I told you 10,000 garbage cans can't be wrong. Rich Voss <laughs> had a kick. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, Keith was trying to break about it the other night. You know where Keith is right now? He's on a fucking plane to Alaska to open for Wanda. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that fucking lackey. Is he really? No, he certainly is. Alaska. He really is just an old it? fucking Negro. It's cold up here, Wanda. Do you yeah. have a problem? No, I'm just saying it's actually refreshing. I remember me and Wanda opening for Keith in Newark one time. So happy that fucking flip-flop. That fucking <laughs> Ronald oh, Robinson. That's the best. Yeah. Fucking worm. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break, guys. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Bobby. Hey, All bye, right, guys. gentlemen. Norton, take care. Hey, Bobby, uh, the, uh, the Comedy Central special is oh. tonight. Let's make sure people check that out Wait, for Wait, don't Kyle, Kyle, Colin, Colin. We lose Colin? He's gone. Yeah, right. he hung up. God and, damn it. And then your DVD slash CD comes out on Tuesday, right? Just a tip. Tuesday. Can you call yep, him back? Just for, a tip Tuesday. Bobby, can you call Kyle back for one second, please? You want to call, you, hang on. For real, yeah. All right, and uh, Bobby's going to come in Tuesday so he can really push his uh, Hello, God, CD slash DVD. Colin. Yo. Hey, it's Norton. I, I, ha I, hey. I before we, we got the phone, uh, I don't like you trying to interfere with my friendship with Jerry, by the way. <laughs> oh. What happened? Uh, interfere with what friendship? Jerry didn't even... I swear to God, Norton came up to him and he goes, Hey, Jerry, like peers, you know, like, hey, what's up, Jerry? Like, you haven't seen Jerry in a few years. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm not his Jerry mechanic feels. like you. He feels like Jerry's <laughs> 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 like, this really, like, this kid's really moving. Jerry goes, hey. Like yeah. that. No. Hey. I know. Here like I knew he didn't recognize Norton's name. Then later I go, you don't even know his name. He goes, yes, I do. James. He had had an accident that day. He's at the cellar. And he's talking to Kyle. So I walk over. I go, hi, Jerry. Up. And he went, hey, Jim. And uh, oh. Colin comes no, over. He, he I heard he said, him. Hey. Quiet. So Colin walks over <laughs> and he goes uh, after Jerry was on stage because he bumped Colin two nights in a row because he knows who to bump. <laughs> no, I told him. Shut go your mouth. Colin, you didn't. You. If he, if, and if you would have said not bump me, he would have bumped you anyway. So fucking Colin <laughs> was fucking bumped. Well, he could have. Shut up. He, you were bumped. You, you step aside. And then Colin I'm comes up, up and he goes, uh, uh, Jerry didn't even. Uh, Jerry didn't even remember your fucking name. <laughs> he did remember my name. He knows my name. By the way, Jimmy is saying all this with egg hanging off his chin. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't want to oh, say that what it was. It was a bit of melted literally cheese and egg course. and omelet. Egg on his face. It costed literally <laughs> right. Uh, no, but I, I, don't, I resent you trying to interfere with this relationship. That every this time, budding relationship. Every time Jerry yes. and I... Oh, I just didn't like the fact... First of all, last night, you know, Kurt Metzger? Yeah. I shouldn't even mention his name on an actual, you know, an airwave anyway, because he's a nothing. But last night, he came it. over to me... And he, like, Jerry was there, I'm talking to Jerry, he comes by and touches my shoulder, hey, Carl, and walks by, and I can tell he practiced it outside on, like, a fence, like, three times, and he'd been there to come by. Because he wanted you to introduce him to Jerry? No, no, he just wanted me to go, hey, Kurt, as he walked by. Did you? He didn't even stop. Hey, hey Carl, did, did, did I meet you last night? I was there. I don't, that, who is this guy? Colin with? Quinn? Yeah. Is he important? Not really. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Jim <laughs> Jeffries. He's a listener. Yeah. Jim Jeffries, he's a comic from uh, England. He's like, really? Yeah, he's like Jim Norton, except with an accent. Really? <laughs> and uh, with that fucking no, egg are, hanging off me, Jim. Edgy? Hey, why don't you go back to the Edinburgh Festival and run that shit by somebody else? How's that, Jeffrey? Oh. 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 That was oh. really hard. I didn't, I didn't know Son that you had bitter comics in this country as well. Oh. 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 What the hell did he say? He said that you were bitter. But hang on, stop for a second. Colin, put the phone to your good ear. Bobby <laughs> <laughs> wow, tearing him up. Me. Let me explain something about Bob. Yeah. He and Bob are both guilty of being so fat that sometimes they're talking to each other, and one of the other, or the other loses him, and it's our fat, our neck fat hangs up on ourselves. <laughs> and both of us have had this. <laughs> <laughs> so don't just blame me, fatso. You should be a hollowed out palm tree canoe playing a ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I, I don't know why all right Quinn, you are funny. I'll give you that, you man. You look like every character on Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> no, he got, he got you, Kelly. That, was, that wasn't bad, Bob. Under normal circumstances, that would have been amusing. But after a hollowed out canoe playing ukulele, yeah, that's you gotta fucking just come back from that do. one. Yeah, just cover up and take hey, the hit. Yeah. a little rest period there, Rich Boss. Instead of going, I, I got to top this one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, we got to let everyone go. We got to take a break here. So, uh, uh, yeah, so Carl, please, let's, uh, let's you know. Carl, no, Colin, let's when are you anymore. coming in? What? When, when are you coming in? I'll come in. Uh, I'm coming anytime next week. How about I'm Tuesday? Yeah, come in Tuesday. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna have a little party for Bob Kelly because he's got his DVD slash CD coming out. Oh, that's right. All right, cool. That's nice. So come on in Tuesday. We'll have a little fun. I love the party in there. Why yeah. not? Hey, today, uh, Colin, uh, you'd you'd be proud. We had everyone smelling. Uh, Big A's uh, tongue, tongue scraping. Tongue scraping gook. Oh, Bobby, God. you missed a good one, pal. There's, there's people vomiting. That's horrible. Yeah, Bob. Well, yeah, really bad. Up. I love Big A. Yeah, he's uh, Big A. They love you. I have a dream. I think, actually, I'd like to see Big A wearing Lady Di and Marion's hair. And he's being on John Adams. <laughs> God damn, is that good? <laughs> I forgot that Colin is obsessed with the retarded Laverne Shirley. Yeah. Back in the day, you were just obsessed with those two. Oh, he could rip them apart. With... All right, Colin, you probably have. He's trying to hang up the phone for the last ten minutes. All right, you chatty Kathy. That's all good. Colin, we're, come we're back to his bill. No, trying to help Norton with his career. If you could have just seen him, though, leaning over to Jerry like, fuck this, now we equals. Hey, yeah. Jer. Oh. No, I didn't. Hey, Jerry, Jer. Oh, somebody's oh. been busy in the business. Did he call him Jer? I said, hey, Jerry. No, no he was just like, hey, Jerry. But he looked at him like, hey, it's not fucking, there's no fear. Come and Jerry, Jerry just go like that thing man? he does where he goes, oh, no. hi. And then Colin goes to this. Hey. Oh, yeah. Colin yeah. Like, I know him, but who the fuck is he? No, no, no. <laughs> this, that's a pack of lies. Colin understands that Jerry and I will probably be very close, and it fucking threatens him. Because Colin was on stage, Jerry went on again last night at the cellar, and then Colin went on after, yeah. which is called being bumped. And um, and Jerry stayed to watch, probably to be polite. Like, yeah, oh, he's going to help push my car. No, huh? he knows him a long time. I was kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And uh, Colin's not really a mechanic. He's, oh, they're uh, friends. They're friends. Oh, Colin, I'm trying to, uh, you know. Uh, and so, so uh, I know. I'm standing there watching, uh, like the last five minutes of Colin's act, and that was just very fucking funny. And uh, so, uh, right after Colin finishes up, uh, Jerry, I didn't know, was still in the room, walks out, and he says, uh, "Hey," and he says to me, "Are you coming up? Like, am I going to come up and sit?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> I am, but then I talked to Carl for a minute and decided to go home because I got a text from my girl and I was late. Oh. So you know what, Carl? I might have went up last night, but I was afraid. I didn't want to steal the whole show. I'm like, you know what? Carl means a lot to him, so I went home. Wow. <laughs> no, the best was some guy in the audience walks out of the show. He Norton had just been on a couple of comedians ago and hands him his receipt because <laughs> he realizes you can't be a full-time guy. He just hands the receipt to Norton and Norton goes, hey, I go, oh. And he goes, I saw you, and hands him the receipt. Like, I hope you're taking receipts to let people out, because you're not a full-time stand-up. <laughs> <Okay, laughs> well, but if you've God. been there. So I was the doorman who fucking probably sang for my supper. Yeah, just did a few minutes. <laughs> All right, well. Hey, Colin, does anyone like Jerry Seinfeld? I do. I love him. He's I love him. I don't think he's great. hysterical. No, no, I'm, you know what? no I, I, I didn't say it right. Uh, does Jerry Seinfeld like anybody? Oh. Well, man, I you know who he doesn't like. Oh, Bobby? Yo. Yeah. I actually was on stage one time, and they I was on for like two minutes. I get the wrap-up sign. They're telling me to get the hell off, get off. So I'm thinking somebody famous is there. I get off stage. He's sitting there. I This is after the not you shit. I actually waved to him. He <laughs> stared right through me. Oh. <laughs> he just doesn't. He didn't even acknowledge my He doesn't wave. want any part of you. There's one thing Jerry likes the most is people like Bob trying to win him over, probably. Well, we. You can't do that with him. Anthony and I have met him twice, and both times we got to. Oh. Oh. I had that like 20 oh. times with him. He doesn't, he doesn't like dirty oh. comedy, does he? I had that like I don't know who he likes. Right? He kind of wrinkles his nose a little, his lip goes up, and he goes, oh. 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 Right, right, right. Like, oh, you too. <laughs> oh. And he's had a lot to comedy. His fucking Bumblebee movie was so fucking prolific. <laughs> well, <laughs> prolific, prolific, you profound. It, it doesn't, yeah, yeah it doesn't really make sense, Bob. Yeah, prolific well. means a lot of like stuff. Yeah, put out. a lot of it'd be Bumblebee it and other lot of fucking it'd be <laughs> profound. Or... Dude, you know what it is, man. He's so <laughs> arrogant, dude. He thinks he's got the market cornered, dude. But that Bumblebee movie, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want uh, the Bumblebee. I love that Norton gives me shit about that. But when you see him at the cellar during the week working on new stuff. 
He's like a fucking, uh, you know, 18th century French poet. Hey, well, you know, fuck the comedy thing. He's turning the automotive world on its head. <laughs> That's right. And, and at least I'm doing it in front of an audience and not my oh. mirror, you fucking zilch. You know what, dude? Just dude. once, just once, Bob wants someone to say to him, God, man, you're a smart dude. I didn't think of that. You've never heard that in fucking 35 years. Everyone, every time you've said something you thought was interesting, people went, we know already. We know. We get it. Bob wanted to just sit there and talk to him probably about the accident. You know, hey, Jerry, what happened there? You know, uh, what, what, well, how did you, the car uh, uh, roll over? And he's just looking I mean, right through you. Here's how pathetic I am. His dream is to have Jerry go, hey, not as bad as that accident I saw you have on Torgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, the fucking cars flipped. That was a great move, dude. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Bob. Thanks for helping me. That's never going to happen. You're, you're, he's never going to be moved by anything you say unless you just leave and he'll go, good, that thing is out of my way. <laughs> that thing. That fucking space tanker is gone. I met him like 20 <laughs> times. Like He's going to be like, good, that giant adobe building that was standing in front of you. Fuck, what are you talking about? You, you. fat fuck. <laughs> I sent him a Christmas you present. Response? You sent him a Christmas did? present? He's already got a lot of the shit. Fuck? I know. I couldn't resist. Wow. What did you send him? I was in Vegas. Airplane meal. And what At, year was this? This is a few months if ago. If it's 89, I'll respect you. Oh, okay. oh boy. I've met Seinfeld a million times, but you don't really meet him. You know, it's like he knows who you are, but yeah. so so but now I'm, I'm in Vegas and he's for the festival and I'm opening for Chris Rock. So Seinfeld's there. He's on the Late Show. It's like you know Caesar's Palace. It couldn't be cooler. Me and Rock are wearing suits. You know, big show. And I have Buddy Hackett's hanky in my suit. <laughs> like you know, for good luck. So Seinfeld comes up to me afterwards. He goes, hey, good set. I like your hanky and your thing. And then the next night, I came back at a different suit with a different hanky. And he commented to me again. He goes, good set. And I like that one. I go, this one was my dad's. Next day, um, I'm having lunch. We're walking through the forum shops. Me and Rock, he calls Seinfeld. So now the two of them are like, it's like, you know, Hope and Crosby walking through the forum shops. You can imagine what that looks like. So we go to lunch. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is Jerry Seinfeld telling me. Hanging out with me. So we walk back, I say goodbye, we look at some sneakers, and it's no big deal. I feel like we had like a little, we, a little we thing. Yeah, a, a little, little connection, thing. sure. So a month goes by, I'm in Beverly Hills. I run into Jerry's manager, George Shapiro, a little guy. He had bought lunch. I go, hey, thanks again for lunch. And I, I just start thinking about that moment. And I get a block later, and I see like a men's, you know, haberdashery, fancy store. So I went and I bought him a. I bought him a, a little blue hanky. Oh, oh, what did you oh, oh, why didn't you just suck up to the celebrity? He's he, my favorite. It's not a celebrity. He's a great he, comic. Yeah. I feel like I learned a lot from I'm him. I'm a good comic. Buy me a fucking hanky, bitch. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so, then, so then here's it gets worse. So oh, I don't hear anything good. now. It's like, the other day. What's that? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 I don't want to call <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm downtown at some party, and there, <laughs> Go ahead. there I see the lovely Mrs. Seinfeld. Ah, and, is uh, she a nice bird? Yeah. Very, yeah, be very sweet, beautiful. very beautiful, very uh, friendly. And uh, of all people, my neighbor, Sarah Jessica Parker, goes, Do you know Jeff Ross, the comedian? And she goes, The comedian? I was like, Oh my God, maybe he got the hanky. You know, like, she knows who I am. So I go, Hey, I sent uh, Jerry Seinfeld this hanky for uh, Hanukkah. And she looks at me like, what? <laughs> oh, oh. And she, it was just like no idea. It was oh, just like I just put my. Oh, what do you think my... he did? Even if he got it, do you think he opened it up and went, oh, "Honey, you have to see this." <laughs> honey, yeah, come yeah. here, look. Did, it's you, a did you leave it? Did you leave a little note? Like, yeah, I wrote a nice note. I wrote a nice note thanking him for lunch and stuff. You know, Here, here's a hanky. I've used it. Well, it was like a hundred dollar silk uh, thing, you know. Probably you wiped off one of his Porsches before he you know went out. You know when you get a hanky. Hanky. I think it's my like, only chance he to probably ever use it as a comrade. Yeah. Or he'll send it back to you with a fucking stool, saying, "Put these two together. You know what to do." <laughs> <laughs> you or, or even worse, just wiped his dipstick after he checked his oil <laughs> right. his cars and just tossed it in this expensive garbage pail. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking full of hankies. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> But Whenever you watch him on TV, do you always yeah. check the pocket to see if there's a blue hanky? I like, have been lately. You, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 you, know, you watch it, you go, he's got to wear it That's one my day. Hanky. He Fucking loves the hanky. Pacino's card got more respect in Donnie Brasco. <laughs> 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 Hey, 
Yeah, you tell me that, I can give a double meaning. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I thought I was being like Sammy Davis Jr. You what, know, what, like what other fact you give to you? Blind, the Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> In both senses of his ethnicity. <laughs> All right, we really have to take a Nothing. break, guys. Where's Frank? Yes, it was good. Was Bob Jew? Kelly, you... oh, sure, you can't get racial because there's an English guy in the show. Let me explain to you, English man. You're going to see it soon enough. Let me explain it. <laughs> Let me explain it to you. I'm Australian, you dick. <laughs> Who is that? Is that James Smith? <laughs> no, no that's it's Jim. Jim. That's Jim Jeffries. Well, come on. Who's number anyway, six? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, right? All right. Who's number one? Be honest. Either one of them fill in for the other. Jeffries is getting some uh, buzz today. He's number 61 on Google Trends for some reason. Google Trends? What's oh, that? Maybe it's another Jim Jeffries. No, there's only me no, and the Jim heavyweight Jeffries, boxer. He's named after the fighter. Yeah, yeah, there's a fighter called Jim Jeffries. Oh, so maybe oh, maybe no, I'm more popular than the guy from the 1920s. Like, fuck, how, you know. <laughs> not even footage of the cunt fighting. <laughs> you got to think that I get more YouTube hits than a guy where there's no footage. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Just, True. When, just when you thought we couldn't have uh, enough comedians on the show at one time, we say hi to Jay Moore. Jay! Oh. Oh. Well, first of all, you know, it's Colin. Hi, Colin. Oh, Colin. <laughs> You know, that's really good. Jim Norton and Caroline started to sleep with a waitress from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, telling her parents every weekend, Guess what, Mom? I'm on Broadway. <laughs> 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 Throw a bone to the, the, the shop. Just, you know, I don't know how much we like taxation without representation. That's good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What a zilch, walking around. Look at me, I'm magnanimous. I'm from the course of pound, I'll help everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jay, that is my favorite impression Holy anyone does of anyone. Hey, calm down, dummy. Jimmy <laughs> 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 Norton all of a sudden is like, you know. They're dancing with the stars like the big judge for fucking the big old British guy telling about how good they are. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a very good joke, Jerry. I like your lines and don't forget to like straighten your legs next time and go that joke, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does a perfect fucking Colin. He's like Colin with better lines. This <laughs> 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 business all the time, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell which one's which. We'll go with Colin's midget hand. He gives him for his money. We're <laughs> <laughs> all scarred from chewing on him. Creep. <laughs> <laughs> Colin. Yeah, you go to whack bag the whole fall and it's Jim Jeffries gay. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy wears a bonnet and just spank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Colin. Uh, hey, Colin, you have what? anything to say to the other Colin? I can't. Yeah. I can barely hear it, but I know I was Oh, jeez. That age is a bitch. He's fucking great. Why, why don't you go back to your book, stupid? <laughs> that is a good impersonation. It's amazing. The great white hope. Colin sits around on his typewriter with his blinking cursor, waiting for the world to end for either an excuse or not finished. The blinking cursor. I was on the third arc and uh, the big meteor ant and took out my apartment only. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, I had the British guy rolling in the aisles. <laughs> Just the Hiya, thing. boys! Hey, look at Jeff Ross! At the big boy table! <laughs> What's up, Colin? Oh, goddamn, Jay. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Fucking right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jay's impressions. God damn, man. How are you guys doing? Very oh, good, hi, Mr. Man. Moore. <laughs> I'd like to say hi to Mr. Jeffries. I watched your video on YouTube uh, this week. I enjoyed it very much. Of me getting punched in the head or an actual clip of me doing stand up? <laughs> no, I saw the punch in the head one. Well, that's old news to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun, though, isn't it? I'm a big fan of your head punch, also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim's a pisser, man. Uh, and uh, Jimmy Norton, where are you performing this weekend? Just hanging in the city. Oh, wait a Way to plug yourself, Jim. That's good. <laughs> you could have, like, said, you know, I would, I'll be with Bobby Kelly feeding him donuts with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was like, George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I would know Bob Kelly trying to quantify his fat, telling us how hard it is because he's Irish. Jesus. <laughs> this is hard fast, just like my dad's fast. It's very hard. This is just for me. This is hard fast. This is muscle over our fast. Right. I keep fucking the stool. We have to get on stage next. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Act one, fuck school. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> 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 I cool call back. Now we're all fucking the school. We're all having a good time. Forget all that stuff in between. Oh, I got the life. I'll fuck the school good night. The guy stink fucker and a stool fucker. Wow. <laughs> you know, the cellar have all the stools and furniture tested regularly. Because <laughs> that stupid drunk and Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> sitting there like a defeated Walter Matthau. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> Waiting for free moment to die, so we summon a part about it and then close. <laughs> you really do look like Walter Matthau. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck it, AJ. I go. Jesus Christ, I just rolled over to take a leak, and I called you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Moore, awesome. Uh, Jay. Take care, Jay. Oh. You're a fucking don't pisser, forget, man. Don't forget what, don't forget what Forrest Whitaker told me. Hey, don't forget what Forrest Whitaker told me. What? Whatever. I, I, Jimmy Norton, it never seems to come out all at once. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we lost Jay Moore. He's uh, fucking funny. Uh, that cunt, absolutely. Man. He's one of the best uh, fucking guys on the phone ever. Perfect. He's a fucking Colin. Holy shit, Colin! It's like he studied you. Yeah. He has. Yeah, no, it's really yeah, it, it wouldn't take that long. All right, we got to say goodbye to everyone because we got to take a break. Bob Kelly. Yeah, uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Colin, come in with Bob Kelly Tuesday. We we got to celebrate Bobby's uh, DVD slash CD release on Tuesday. No. CD. He calls it. He doesn't even say CD. CD. My CD. CD. All right. Are you tired of hearing? Right, Carl, are you tired uh, of hearing about his CD? Yes. I am also <laughs> yes. fed up with it. It's called Just a Tip, cool. and then and Bobby's yeah. guys Comedy Central special tonight too. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys, we gotta right, take so, a break. I'll, I'll see. All right, gentlemen. Bye, boys. All right, guys. I let it. Let all. all right, man. Yeah. Love you, Colin. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, we got to take a quick break. Fuck. Jeffrey Ross, Jim Jeffries in studio. Oh. Uh, Jeffries is going to be at Caroline's uh, tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Ask you. Everyone doing a bang up job today. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Want to thank Jay Moore for calling in from LA. That was uh, a hell of a way to end that last segment. Holy shit. Uh, Jim Man. Jeffries in studio. Jeffrey Ross in studio. Uh, Jim Jeffries was telling us about his great grandfather. Great great getting, grandfather. Oh, great great grandfather. He was getting into a really good story. He got a couple big laughs, and then we said, "Look, you got to stop and save this for the radio." I think I got all the laughs I was going to get. I can tell you the story again. Basically, Wait, hold on, Jim, yeah, before Jim does this, I, I I'm going to take off only because I have a, shoot, <clears throat> a photo but, shoot. But I have to go home a and get photo a shoot. Photo shoot. What you got to do your hair Ooh. or something? No, no, no I got to go home and get, get clothes. They're supposed to have a suit for me, and they don't have one. It's it's for, it's for, a, for a book thing. I, I got to. Uh, you oh. got another book coming out? Jim? Yeah, but not for a while. But author? I, I it. But, Is it your author picture? Well, you know. You have a little jacket with the patches on the sleeves. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm working on something, but I have to get that, and it's like you got. But, yeah. but we were having fun today. I, I had a great time today. I'm enjoying uh, Jeff and, and fucking Jeffrey very much. Oh uh, wow, man! But, but I mean, he's got a great story. So, so, <laughs> so where? Are you, why? Thanks, yeah, Jimbo. We'll see you down at the cellar this week. No, there's yeah. no thanks, Jimbo. There's uh, he's taking the energy out of the show. No, yeah. I'm yeah. leaving. I'm not taking that. I want to. Yeah. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. This is your MySpace picture. How many fucking pictures are you selfie? What happened? We were having fun. You look good in all your pictures. Just, just. Jimmy. Close your eyes, point at them all. This is a faggy excuse. Jimmy, we're going for an A-plus show today. This could hurt oh, our What's wrong with the clothes you're wearing? What's wrong with, yeah. like, a hoodie and some jeans and some Nikes? It's cover. It doesn't work. Yeah, go with the Ace Freely t-shirt, man. Yeah, you're proud man. with the Ace Freely. You look good. You look I don't. Good. This is the best I've seen you. Yeah. Thank you. I lost weight. That's why. Oh, really? You have to admit it. I think maybe I could set this one out, LP. Got a bad feeling about it. I like everybody yeah, got to stay at eleven sometimes. I like, <laughs> I, I like how every morning you get a breakfast, which is a whole lot of shit, and then you get the fruit salad to make yourself feel good. And at the end, there's always a full fucking fruit salad in it. Fruit salad. Just buying the hey, fruit Jim. salad doesn't mean you fucking eat it. Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't make us pull out our bananas again, Jim Jeffries. That is great. No bananas there's in there. No bananas. There is not banana. In there. No banana. There's no fucking banana in there. Anyone have a banana? No, don't fuck with me. Let me see the. Let me see this banana. Why would you fuck with no, the gentleman? No, that's that's all right. That's a, that's a closed up banana. That's all right. That's all right. Let me see this banana. No, 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 no. no, no Jeffrey no. Ross, you want to see something no. interesting? Let me why see. Why would you do this to a guest that's done nothing no, but help the guest. show? Jeffrey, watch this. The guy's done banana. nothing but help the show. It's just an innocent I'm not, I'm, banana. I'm not going to watch it. How does he say banana? I can't, I can't, even, banana. I can't even threaten to swear what, what? to stop this the fucking show. What's going to happen? I'll say the N-word. I'll say the N-word. Uh, Nig-nog. Uh, <laughs> look, look at this. It's just a banana. 
What's going to happen? He look, just look, has, look. He, it's his kryptonite. He has a phobia. Why is he running away? About I, open bananas. No, right, bananas. No, don't wiggle the fucking skin, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my he God. He really does, and that's no shit. That's some Cub Scout r flashback yeah, right no Yeah, shit. that's what everyone says. L so. It's a, uh, look, he can't even... Here, Jimmy. Are you kidding Here. me? Jimmy likes I won't chase him with it. I don't, ch no, I don't, don't chase him with it. We're not going to chase you with it. I don't no. Just, I just just don't ever banana. chase him with it. I don't do that. Just put it away. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong with the banana? It's What's wrong with the banana? Me. Look at the banana. Oh, 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 oh. He's closing his eyes. He's going to snap off. There's a big banana chip. I have closed my eyes, and now I'm in my happy place being wanked on by a scoutmaster. Wait, can you can you hear this, though? Listen, listen. <laughs> that bothers him a lot. Oh God, it's making banana goopy stuff on the console. Yeah. How about some banana goop? Oh, no, no, don't slap it. Don't <laughs> fucking. Slap what was your scoutmaster's <laughs> name? No, I just no, Ben no, Anna. Just, just go get your fucking photo. And... <laughs> what happened here? Ben Anna. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? We don't know what it is. He, he doesn't even know. He he just knows that drives him nuts. A banana, a banana, <laughs> banana. <laughs> How's he say banana? Uh, fucking lion of the fucking century. What was his comment? His name? Ben Anna. Oh, God. Damn. Jim Jeffries, just turn around. Norton want, just wants to say goodbye to you. Look at oh, oh, that. You, you can't look at the banana. I'm not looking at, not looking at it. Okay. Just it's look. a piece of fruit. It's Come a piece of fruit. Everyone has their phobias There's and There's nothing and in the world you're scared of. Let's play hot. Uh, let's, yeah. Let's play guns, hot. rapists. Let's play hot potato with the banana. What do you say? No, Just throw I'm, it around I'm, a little bit. Have her jolly old time. I'm going near you with it. I'm not going to chase you with it. Put the fucking gun get you on the table. <laughs> Dude, he's leaving. <laughs> oh no, Jim. Hey, Jim. Look, Jim left the studio. Ben he's, Anna. You know he's. Oh <laughs> God. That is insane. <laughs> it's so weird. He's, he's the guy's so studio. together. The guy's so... <laughs> he, he, Very clever, witty, it's quick. A, it's his kryptonite. He just has oh. a kryptonite, and it's banana. Banana. <laughs> what happened? What What's happened, up, Dan? Uh, he's on the mic. What mic is he on? Couch? Oh, Wait, couch where mic. Are where, where are you? Jim, where are you? Just someone clean. Just, just clean the table. Uh, I can't he's fucking... He's throwing a roll of paper towels over to yeah. clean oh, it yeah, up. Look at this cook. And no, don't. Smell it. That's <laughs> that's Jimmy's worse. throwing the banana onto hold the console, hold and it's just Can gooping. You hear, is it, turn the volume up there. Yeah, just turn it up. I, I can't see it anyway. You hear this? <laughs> is it the smell? I don't know. It's, it's everything. Smell fuck. I need some Febreze and paper towel and fucking someone who'll clean it. Dude, he saw a guy shit into a wastebasket yesterday and, and he had no problem with that, but you, you, banana. you, you pull out a banana. I would rather lick Big A's tongue. We'd like you to. Yeah. Wow. All right, here, I'm throwing the banana out. <laughs> look, here, look, the banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Put it in the puke bucket. Now clean I'll up. Him, now I'll get a paper him. towel and clean up the console. <laughs> All right, Jimmy <laughs> threw out the banana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was Jim, breeze that thing or, or I'm cleaning this off. Look. Lysol it or whatever the fuck it takes to get all that off of there. He's been nothing but nice. <laughs> He's been a great uh, guest. Contributed right. a lot to the show for three Jeffrey, days look. in a row. We want you to Gun. see that he's he's thrown the banana. Hey, give me some Febreze, I'll spray the table. That's and all everybody's spray. uh wow. All right. Yeah, right abusing here. him with like banana. Crazy. It's banana. It's banana. It's not a load. No, yeah. I'm spraying it. You're up I'll do it. it. All right, look, we're cleaning off the banana. Give me it. Give me it. I'm not enough already. Here, look. Uh, the banana's right, gone. Hold on, James. Uh, I can smell go. it the whole room. No, you can't. It doesn't. It's in your head. It doesn't. Get in here. We're doing a show. It's a banana. Throw up. Uh, dummy. They don't make a dummy. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jim. Well. All right. All right. Sit, sit, Sam. Good. Jesus. Sit. What if there's a... <laughs> he said he just ran out of the studio again. <laughs> Norton put a piece of banana on his teeth. Banana on his teeth. He put his banana on then, his teeth. And then fucking E-Rock comes in and turns the Turns it around so, so he can, can see. see. Like, oh, hold on. Oh, E-Rock. Oh, wait, what's this? Jim, there's banana on the seat. You might want to get it. <laughs> fucking... But he didn't know, in fairness. We didn't tell E-Rock. Yeah. Though. All right, what... But it figures that would happen. All right, he... All right, we're cleaning up the banana. Right, it's got a weird, heavy texture to it. To hold it like that is fucking bizarre. Yeah. It's it's all right. I just <laughs> all right. I'll have Norton's seat when he goes. 
<laughs> so you guys can see oh, Jim you, Jeffries uh, at Bananas this week. <laughs> yeah. no, you have to stand for the rest of the fucking Jim, show. Jim, you got me nervous. I dropped my banana in my seat. God damn it. All right. There you go. All right. Jim, have you ever performed at Bananas? I don't mind I, I don't mind fake bananas. It's just proper, <laughs> proper What if it's bananas. in a fruit salad? It was the way that when I went to sit down, everyone was kept on putting the back of the chair to me. So I, I knew there was something up. <laughs> That would have been terrible if you sat in fucking banana. Yeah, that no, that would have Iraq. ruined a pair of jeans. He that. wouldn't have yeah. sat it. He would have right. sat it. Yeah. All right, why don't you get back here, guys? Right. Jim Jeffries. We'll give you another yeah. seat if you right. need be. Another I wiped chair. it off the seat. It's gone. I do smell banana. I never though. saw someone that smart get that freaked out. Yeah. He's got a, a, so a. It's a phobia. It's a, one of those. You know, I phobies aren't it. rational for the most part. He, he just has a. Uh, Is it the shape no, or the smell or the taste or? It's gone. That's not banana. There's a little. Wow, wipe, wipe that banana off. Who doesn't love this guy? He's a, he's a freak like all of us. Look at this. He will not all sit right. down until the I've never is... seen anybody like that with banana. All right, now. <laughs> no, oh, Jesus. No. I don't chase people with stuff. Just... You just put it in their chairs. Eh, you know. Yeah, and slap it on the console. Go, go get your phone. Can you explain that? that? Jim, it does smell now. It does Jim smell. Jeffries? It doesn't have Jim a banana Jeffries, smell. Can you explain that, at least? Ben on a... We, we tried. We don't, he doesn't really know why. I mean, it, he got molested a lot growing up, so... Not a lot. Twice. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. Once is a lot. Like, <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not that wrong, yeah. actually. Yeah, what do you call a lot? You didn't yeah. tattle after one. That means the second time is... No, wrong. because yeah. one, you can call a mistake. A two mistake. times, I felt like, you know, we've all made mistakes. Well, lines of child <laughs> two, two times, I felt like him. he was taking the piss. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah. That's... Jimmy, you got to go? Yeah, but I want to go home and get my suit. I have to. All right. They all were right. supposed to have one, and the photographer's like, no, I thought you were bringing that. All right. But it's like, I don't want to pay Oh, stripes. damn. All right. Yeah, we should probably just uh, do the line of the day. Well, no, he's got the great great uh, grandfather story. Right. That's what I want to hear. Then. Yeah. Well, okay. My my great 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 grandfather. Hold on, Jim right? Jeffries. It was good seeing you, man. It was good. I can't shake your hand. I'm trying to watch the next show. shows tonight. Bye, Jeff. See you, man. Take it easy, Jimmy. And uh, off. Oh, right. Yeah, do this. I'll see you guys. Later. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his glasses on upside down. It's a scream. <laughs> you funny guy. <laughs> Jim. Whew. What? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, great, great uh, grandfather story. All right. It's not going to get a laugh now, but basically, this is 100% true. My me, me great, 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 great grandfather <coughs> was on the first fleet coming out to Australia, which is like being on the Mayflower, all the original convicts and that type of stuff. And for an Australian, that's a very proud thing to be, right? And his name was George Bell, and there used to be a painting of him above our sofa of him looking all distinguished in a suit. Like, right? I'm George yeah, Bell. Yeah, just I'm George Bell from 1788, in right? And all that type of stuff, right? Now... When the internet came into play in our lives, they put all the crimes of everybody that went away to the, 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 the colonies, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it turned out that George Bell, we always thought he stole, stole a loaf of bread or he tried to help someone out in the dirty English government. Reckon, yeah. Turns out he raped six women. <laughs> oh, six fair. fucking women. He raped six oh women. And we God. had a painting of him. And this is in 1788. <laughs> women had no rights. He really fucking raped them. Like, proper <laughs> raped them. <laughs> and even, even by today, Day standards. You rape six women. How many women do you think you get away with raping? What, another 40? Yeah. 50? Yeah. Back he, then, you, you, he might have raped like a hundred women. Back then, you could probably get away with raping a couple of women because they wouldn't believe they the rights. women or who gives a shit. Right. But exactly. If they put you away for it, you must have really been doing some but, raping. But here's what's great about it, right? He was one of the first Australians to have a residential home because his sentence ran out earlier than everyone else because it wasn't seen as that bad a crime. Oh, really? <laughs> so he got out he and got was able to look around and go, I'll settle right yeah, here. Yeah, he got a house right on the fucking harbour. Right? Nice. He was laughing. He got the good real estate. No, oh, lovely. Down the rocks. Yeah, Georgie. Ah, oh, the rapist. We don't have the picture of him anymore. It's still down in the basement. I want it really badly. My mum won't yeah. give it to me. She feels like it's a shameful thing. On now the it's shameful. It was I, a proud thing for I a would love to have it in a pool room or something. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. They go, why have you got the picture of the old guy? Huh? Well, have I got a story for you. Sit down and let me tell you about my great, great, great grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> the rapist. It's amazing. Oh. It's, a, it's lovely work living in a country that was a prison. Nothing's going to be as funny as watching yeah. you run for that banana. No. He <laughs> raped him with bananas. It's a lot of shame. <laughs> <laughs> so when, we, when I was in high school, when they had sex education, they taught us how to put condoms on, and they used bananas. Oh fuck! What'd you do? No, I just didn't do it. I still don't know how to put them on right. Yeah. So, <laughs> With what your mouth. Banana bread or a banana in a fruit no, salad? No, no, nothing banana. Nothing. It's not going to happen. 
<laughs> it's just not going to happen. If even banana leaves, sometimes in Thai cooking, they use that as a garnish or something. And really? That, yeah, I just ask nothing. And if I go to like uh, Java juice or whatever they fucking call it, I make yeah. them clean a blender up. Huh. They can't use a blender wow. they've previously so used that might, that might have had banana in it. You think it's a sexual flashback? Or it's you not think a it's sexual. A I didn't like it as a kid. Mind you, I was having sex at a young age. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. It's not about liking. It was obviously forced on you. Yeah, as a yeah kid. banana was, yeah, fuck That's yeah. just an odd, you know what it is? It's a, an odd um, fear. Phobia. I'm not Phobia. I'm gonna pick up snakes and stuff. But Most people have, yeah, like snakes would be one thing, uh, heights, yeah. things like that, but. Black uh, people. An innocent little, well, right. <laughs> a, an innocent little banana. That's the inappropriate bell whenever hey, uh, black people an, are um, spoken of, uh, uh, of like ill ilk. Ill. Ilk, yes. It is, it, it, ring the bell. it is 40 years after Martin Luther King had a dream. Yes. Yeah. And it, I've had dreams, and, but I didn't just, I wasn't as mouthy. There's an amazing story that's playing out on CNN right now. It's just a house fire in Oregon. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why they're just broadcasting a house fire from Oregon, but they just had uh, on on the shot saying the couple whose house this is already left the house to catch a flight so they're possibly in the air right now having no idea that the entire world is watching their fu their house uh go if up they're on uh, jet blue they can watch it can you imagine on the back seat hey look at that fire oh fuck, <laughs> fuck it's our it's, it's our, our house, fucking house. <laughs> you want to wrap up you want to do we got audio from the pregnant man on oprah i hate really? that pregnant man story no shit it's not a pregnant man is, is it a tranny is it's it it's a woman that uh didn't even have a sex change right just had hormone treatment, so shit. Any time a woman becomes a man, they gotta grow that beard. <laughs> they gotta try to grow like that That's beard. That's creepy, in. though. That's yeah, it is. It's beard. upsetting for some well, reason. Well, it's the same when a man becomes a woman. He's always gotta dress like he's like a whore from the 1950s. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you never get, like, a transsexual that just goes, yeah, I'm just going to wear a tracksuit and some comfortable yeah. jeans. All of a sudden, it's, like, it's, high heels and big yeah. nails. It's some awful dress that, like, your old aunt would wear like a Marilyn something. Monroe impersonator. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I'm a lady. Look at my frilly clothing. <laughs> if you're going to be a lady, why wouldn't you, like, shop at, I don't know, uh, fucking Victoria's Secret, get some, get boys, get something up to date. You right. Just right. wear something sensible. Yeah. Well, let's go through this real fast before we do line of the day and get out of here for the weekend. Uh, this guy... The, the couple, the guy, quote, that is pregnant was on Oprah with uh, his lover. Mm -hmm. Play to smooth, beautiful feet. The pedic has over 100 precision That's, stainless steel That's uh, the TV steel right up the there. That? It's that, that cheese grater foot thing what that, is that people use. Look this is that. disgusting. Look at this. They show it's, it's to take dry skin off of your feet. And then, look, you empty out oh. the dry skin powder. Oh, shit. Dude, I see bit. Order this fucking thing, because I see bit. Dude, before. we're going to mix that up in a milkshake. Why did someone I think do, of this before? It's great. Right. I, I do a lot of running, biking, inline skating, and I peel the skin off the bottom of my foot to the point where I can't walk anymore because I go too far. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Get out of here. Stop it. I've never scraped oh. skin off my foot. Dude, it, it, start, it, it starts with a oh. little innocent peel while you're in the bathtub or whatever. And next thing you know, you're ripping the half of your fucking foot apart. <laughs> it's just like a fucking <laughs> lion no, bite. Dude, no joke. I've gone down way too many layers where I I am in God, that hurts. I haven't Just done it in a few years. I haven't done it in a few we years. We found Anthony's sick. banana. But, yeah, that's my banana. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> telling you, banana. we we get this thing on the show. I'll, you I'll, say I'll, banana. I'll get some I'll get some scraping done for everybody. <laughs> Scrape your calluses, get that powder cuz it looks like a cheese grater. It's called a ped egg. Yeah, ped and, egg. and you scrape it and it's got a little uh, compartment in it that you then empty out yeah. this the dry foot skin scraping yeah, we'll like a, a cheese grater, like Parmesan cheese. We'll make a protein shake out of it or and something. And then, yeah, mix it up in a shake and have fucking Duffy well, drink it or Who gives a shit. shit if you got dry feet? Who gives a fuck? Just, just live with it. Well, Carry women, on. Women. Uh, women. Uh, women need a, to be smooth. Thing. I, I hate... I don't have a foot fetish. A lot of people say I have a foot fetish. I don't. But I like when girls are completely naked and the foot is like a big thing in the whole... Thing. Absolutely. So if girl has ugly feet, it ruins the whole package. Yeah, you wouldn't date a girl with just two stumps. Right, two stumps just walking it around all, it doesn't off balance mean, all the time. It doesn't mean you got a foot fetish. No, no. Would you fuck like a Heather Mills? One stump? Would no. You? 
I, I, I think that'd be great that. just to I'd hold no, one. I, yeah, I'd have no problem I'd with that. that. I, I need two legs. I'd have no problem with that. I can't fuck It's not uh, the one leg that bothers oh, me. It's the uh, it's the bunion on the, on the good foot. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Yeah. She's like, I lost in an accident. No, you dumb bitch. You <laughs> fucking other foot. You got one foot to take care of. It's also someone like <laughs> someone like Heather Mills couldn't give you a foot wank because you need both feet. You need to both feet. Uh, a foot wank. Yeah, you a do. You need both. Lily taught us about the foot wank at the pilot taping the other day. Yeah, let's I've never, reached, I've never reached this. completion hey. with a foot wank. Hey, I, I <laughs> I've had him, but I've never reached. No. I've had tinny around my cock. Silly athlete's cock from an <laughs> athlete's <laughs> cock. Uh, Rick in Sarasota, what's up, buddy? Hey, first off, happy birthday, Jimmy. Jimmy's not here. Oh, he's sorry, after I'm a photo there. shoot and eating bananas and <laughs> whatnot. Anyways, uh, Opie, do you know a lot of transsexuals that would look good in Victoria's Secret? Yeah, mm. I knew it was going to be called out on this. That's not what I'm getting at. Like, if you're going to go the distance and uh, become a woman, why the fuck would you go and 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 uh, wear old uh, lady clothes? Why wouldn't you try to sex it up? Or just go wear ahead. something comfortable. Just go to the Gap and get it like a jumper. Yeah, just something comfortable. Just something comfortable. It's, it's always going to be high heels and heels and big look, nails. Look, look at the women out there. They're not dressed like fucking crazy. Uh, uh, they're, they're, there's they're, two women and they both look comfortable. Right. Dumpy, if you will. No, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there's not, there's women, women hate the word thrumpy. Do you have yeah. the word thrumpy? Thrumpy? thrumpy. Yeah, they, no. yeah, they'd yeah, rather you call them fat than if you go, she was a bit thrumpy. Dumpy Lily. or frumpy. You know, you know you're, you're lovely and your husband looks very Lily, Lily's dressed like a Holly Hobby doll. Look at that. She does too. Hello. Hi, Hi Lily. Hold on. Ron and Fez, noon to three. Yeah, right. There you go. We got the new Annie there. Hall coming into studio today. Yes, it is Annie Hall, isn't it? Yeah. A little Annie Hall-ish. The, the, uh, updated, the updated Annie Hall She's very yes. fashionable. Annie, right. wait in the hall. That's good. Oh, you know what you're wearing on your feet, right? In a, they're like Uggs or something. Yeah, they're right? from Australia. Yeah, in Australia, they're slippers. They're meant to be worn with your dressing gown, and Americans wear them with jeans. And I think it looks hysterical. Oh, that must be funny for you because it's like people walking around with slippers. With on. slippers on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no one would ever wear them with jeans. Is, it, it just looks ridiculous. It's just sheepskin, and they're really expensive. When like no when, support whatsoever. When burning, they're really actually really comfortable. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm them. sure they're comfortable. They're Slippers. But so is a dressing gown. Well, I, I don't rock in... around the fucking world in one. <laughs> I have them in slipper form that I wear around the house. That is slipper form. <laughs> slipper, they're boots. You're wearing they're slippers like... right now. No, they're boots. In I'm Australia, boots. those are slippers. They're slippers. Yeah. Wow. So, so while we have her in here to talk about the foot job. Please. Oh, foot jobs. Yeah, no, like she shows her thing. Hold on, I gotta get Not closer. in those, it's like fucking Wait, a sheep. Wait, she needs a chair a for this? A foot job seems like well, it would be odd, like it would be... Like that. You'd be really vulnerable yeah, to a heel it's in like the, in the That's balls. That's what you do. Show us what... In fact, we could do a... Hey, does anyone have a banana? Because uh, we need Lily to oh, demonstrate oh, this. Oh, no oh, bananas, no bananas. No? But I reckon if you got two men, you could do a 69 foot job where you're both. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two gay guys two just gay getting guys, off. Like that. You know, it, would, it would be awkward. That is actually the way it is. You just take your two feet. Right, Hold on, we're getting Lily. some kind of. Lily's uh, got you take your um, socks off. My yeah. socks off? Yeah. Why? You're going to really describe this. Describe okay. it. Wait, she's going to gonna show how you do a foot job. Lily's, Lily's, got, okay, Lily's okay. got good feet. There's some very nice feet. Nice pedicure. Not, uh, Wait, uh, hold on. Yeah. All we need is a cock, though. We, we can't no, just... we don't. A cock. Just, how just, just imagination. How, I use oh, a red bull okay. can. Hey, hey, just it's, a little, it's a little small, I understand. Yeah, but it's not usually what I'm used to. Lily's a size queen. She's a size queen. So the red bull almost works. Basically, you just take your two feet and put it together. You know, like the arches of your feet? Yeah. And you just... You've actually done this? Yeah, sure, why not? And then you just sort of put them together around the shaft. But wow. you gotta watch you don't and heal the balls. This yeah. Is kind of hot, eh? And yeah. then you just go up and down, up and down, up and down. It's usually for girls who have no arms. Alright, alright, what we'll do is, <laughs> what we'll do is, what we'll do is now, right, I'll shake the can up, you do it for a while, and then I'll crack the top like yeah, a good idea. Oh, okay, and good. it'll come all over your feet. That's good, that's good. Oh, you're, oh. No, it's gonna ruin your nice Uggs. Your, your, your slippers. Know. You can't shake up a bottle of water. Just do it. You do it. No. You're the one who wants to do it. You need, like, seltzer All or right, something. Let's say hi to uh, Henry, the truck driver. Henry, you can stay there, Lily. Henry. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Um, get uh, Jim Jeffries to do his Homer voice and do the boo. What, you want me to do Homer Simpson? 
Yeah, but yeah, you, you did a little homework yesterday. It was really funny, actually. Um, boo. No, <laughs> mm, look, my sweet, nourishing beer, beer <laughs> the neck. Ooh, foot wink. The sweetest <laughs> wink of them all. I like uh, stories. I can do I can do Cliff Clavin as well. You can right? do Cliff? Yeah, because it's just Homer Simpson speed up. So you uh, go, Homer Simpson, you go, Ooh, look, sweet, nourishing beer. And then you go, Cliff Clavin. Yeah, you know, the beer was invented in 1842 by uh, Trojan. <laughs> Not many people know that they're Norman. <laughs> yeah, that is. There you go. Jesus that's, Christ, that's pretty that's good. Dead on. It's uh, <laughs> all the Pixar films that are keeping me in work. <laughs> you do impressions on your show? No, I just, just for you. Anyone else you do? Um, Every I, English I tell guy. You, I tell you what, right, I, I went to do an audition the other day in L.A., and they go, just do a southern accent. I couldn't do one, so I just impersonated Dr. Phil for the entire audition. And I can't really do it, but I was just there going, if he rapes you, he doesn't love you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing an American accent uh, the other day. It was pr pretty good. Well, I, I'm most fascinated by when uh, people with yeah. English accents or Australian accents. Banana. Banana, banana, you say banana, I say banana. Yeah, that's about. I can't do an American very well. No. No, you do it. You do your Australian. Uh, I try. Yeah, that's, 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 little... that's more English. Or oh, fucking try. Uh, hip hip. No, it is. It, you got to get into that mindset. I got to think like you know. Two days ago, I saw a rig that'll haul that tanker. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta just quote Road Warrior lines. <laughs> you know the original Mad Max when it hey, in America, tits. they put they put a fucking American voices over the top of the original yep. Mad Max yeah. because they thought you guys couldn't understand it, like it would just well, be too difficult. Well, if you fucking spoke English. You understand me? <laughs> of course I do. Speaking spoke English. <laughs> I like when you say that to people in England. They're yeah. speaking like Cockney or something. It's like, speak English, no, the, motherfucker. No, the, the English speak English worse than anybody else. They, yeah. got, the, they got the worst well, grammar. it's old school English, you know. No, it's just fucking gutter. They're just <laughs> it's fucking, fucking gutter. gutter. They're fucking right. gutter, the English. <laughs> we got the pregnant man on Oprah. Let's get to this, and then we can get out of here. I want more foot wank. Have you ever had an armpit wank? Uh, no. it, that's called uh, axolism. Is it? What? I had a girl. What she did was yeah, having sex with the uh, armpit. You, you, she lubed up her armpit, but she's supposed to grow it in a little bit, just a little bit. And she'd roll an orange on the table like that. Yeah. So the muscle pulsated around you. Interesting. Yeah. Get the fuck what about out of here. Hold on, hold on. I gotta walk. Oh, a knee fuck, a back of the knee fuck. Yeah. No, hold on. I gotta walk yeah, people man. through this. So, so you. Okay. So you. She, she sits up down. At, she sits down at a table. You stand up behind or in front. Yeah. Put your cock in. Lube the armpit up. Nice. Right. right. Then they put an orange or a good a tennis ball or something, and then she rotates it under her hand like that. On and a it table. Makes, it makes the muscles pulsate hmm. in the armpit. Interesting. Wow. It's the armpit, though, is kind of a weird area. Lily, would you allow anyone know. to do that? Yeah. For the show, I mean. Lily? Oh, um... For the show. Would you no. like to go out with me, cop? Lily? You're my no. type of girl. Would you go out with me? I have a boyfriend. Lily's no, they didn't ask if you had a fucking boyfriend. I'm here till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... No. No, I wouldn't. Oh, shit. What's your boyfriend do? <laughs> He's an art handler. Oh. Yeah, uh, he's see. broke. Hey, yeah. this but is guess good. who's got he cash? Has a nine inch cock, so yeah, he's got I a like niner. It. Yeah, yeah. I, you can keep reason, his nine inch cock. Helps. I've got money. She's a size queen. She right. likes the big. Do you cat. like the big cocks, do you? Yeah, I mean, on the larger side is always better. Yeah. Interesting. No, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Mm. That's why they never stay with me. Do you um flip over? Do you take it up up the ass? In the ass? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Too, too then our date is off. I didn't really like it. You didn't like that? It felt like I had to go to the bathroom, and I didn't like that no. feeling, so... I would assume a big nine-inch thing in your asshole would feel like it's got to come yeah. out. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> I love having to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels good, right? It feels great. Yeah, I love you it. You want to dick up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay. what you're saying today? <laughs> here's, here's the question from yesterday, right? If I came in your ass, then felt shit out, would that make me gay? Tasting your own cum? Out of your ass. No. See? That's I that's, that's from gay. a woman. I'm not mm. gay. Not gay, and you know why? Because hey, women taste. We taste our own bodily juices, and that's not gay. Like nobody would say I'm a lesbian because I like mm. to taste what I uh, taste like. Are we? You know? Oh, yeah, like we're. Hold on. I think we're cooking hold popcorn. Not, I'm not a lesbian. Lily, hold on. You don't know what's going is someone on. eating hot rocks? I think we're. I think we're getting. We're getting cancer. <laughs> Some kind of uh, static that's getting louder and louder. I think it's my. 
What happened? It's a Geiger counter. We're near radiation. Mars, are, are, is this going to cause cancer? Yeah, I'll stop mentioning Can they hear it out there? Just, Hold on. It sounds like rain is on a tin roof. Now we're getting a little feedback. Get that out of there. It's my ball sizzling from Willie. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The whole uh, channel is what like is self-destructing in front of is our a, eyes. Is like Big A's tongue gun about roof. to explode? Is it toxic? Just make believe it's theater Mars of the mind. Make believe it's raining on the roof. Oh, really? Problem? What? Uh, it's just going to get worse and worse until the station blows up. Oh, okay. That's uh, fine. Jeffrey, I don't care. where are you going to be? Oh, I'm going to be in Seattle next weekend. Seattle, it rains there. Like, it's raining here on this tin roof. Yeah. And I'll be Three in times, Cleveland nothing? at Hilarious the week after that. <laughs> Come see me, ONA fans. I'm, I'm going to be at Caroline's a weekend the next week. Stanford and Sons in Kansas City what? and then Cleveland. What? Doesn't matter. Just come and see me. I will. The felching to it. There we go. Com. Com. Under, that's line. good. Now it sounds good like we're out in the rain. <laughs> oh my god. It's pouring in here. <laughs> Jeffrey, I just want. What? Come. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh! This is bad. It's the apocalypse! <laughs> it's into that rain. Someone this, got pissed this off. This may or may not be. On the air, so you guys could be reacting. So it to could nothing. really be oh, really? silly. Who yeah. gives a shit? It better be now. Now I'll just put my. Flip -flop made it on the air. Yeah. Oh, of course think, it was. Oh no, that that made it on the Don't air. Don't you worry about that. It made it into my memory forever. <laughs> uh, Jim Jeffries. She has good arches for uh, jerking Beautiful. off. Uh... Sure do. <laughs> Jim Jeffries, Caroline's all weekend long. Yeah, yeah. Check him out. Very funny. Giggles oh. in Seattle for uh, Jeffrey Ross. I'm going to the Caroline show tonight. Cool. Absolutely. Early or late. I don't know. Because people might want to come to meet you. Nah, they don't give a shit. You're a big famous guy. Nah, they, they've gotten their pictures by now. I, I think I might go I might go early so we don't deal with the drunks. The late yeah. show can get a little rough. I quite like the drunks, though. I like a bit of argy-bargy. You guys are missing Lily putting her socks back I'll tell you what, though. If, uh, if you're a girl out there and you want to pick are up, on the come air? to one of my gigs. It's very man-heavy. What? We're on the air, but that's also on the air. The what, what's on the air? The crackling. Oh, the static? Oh, the crackling? Oh, that's, that's good now that it is. Someone shot the satellite out of the sky and it's burning through the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. Right, let's get the, um... What about the pregnant man? I think the pregnant man's gonna be a casualty of this static. Really? Let them eat static. He tasks me. He tasks me. Let it be known we were Thank gonna you. do an extra half hour at least today, but, Star uh... Trek geek XM's allergic to bananas. Bananas. Banana. Yeah, it's got something to do with bananas. I, I think Ow! some banana got into the works. Yeah, it's easier if you just take one ear off, isn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, it's just oh, stereo now it's, crack. Now it's making it really weird. Oh, feeding oh. back. Oh, don't, don't, don't let it feed back now. What? I'm just doing a little Hendrix. <laughs> Hendrix. That's not it. I like that we're here for two hours. The one mm. plug is doing a crackle storm. Crackly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I think it's passing. Oh, that's no. good. Oh, it's getting better. Yeah. Oh, the rain's going away. What happened? Did it's the water just, getting it's something? Just hmm? It's just sprinkling. Yeah, um, it's just a drizzle now. So what's your boyfriend's name? Jonathan. Uh, how long have you been going out? Jonathan. Oh, uh, no, it's months? Jonathan. Not John or Johnny, him. it's Jonathan. Huh? Mars is panicking. Him. Mars is panicking. Through, what's uh, up, Mars? Party. Oh. What? Nice. What's the problem? Have you got any friends? Oh, you'd like to Do fix this before yeah, Ron and Fez come on. I have a lot of single friends. Yeah, bring them to the show. Yeah, okay. because, you know. I'll send them. Ron and Fez's show is a lot more important than the Opie and Anthony show. We all know that. We all know uh, that. Yeah. Of course. Ron and Fez, noon to three. Noon to three. Oh, and can I just tease Static something? free. What? Earl's sexy photos of Lily will be revealed today on the Ron and Fez show. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, we had he, a photo shoot last night. He did a photo shoot. And let me just say, there were pasties. What's a pasty? You what? Oh, that's just to the, cover the small nips. thing to cover the nipples. Yeah. Now, that's all. where do we see this? They will be revealed on uh, Ron and Fez's show, and I'm sure they'll be up on the website. Today. Holy shit! How was it? Was it fun? It was fun, actually. Wow. What uh, What else were you wearing? Panties. Who says panties? Where were right, you doing see. this? Knickers? I don't know. Where the fuck was Earl Knickers. photographing yeah. you? We use a, a, a studio downtown. You panties did. sounds yeah. like a kid's panties, panties and pasties. I, I like love that. It. I like that. Where's panties. Your panties. I like under oh, underoos. Like underoos are my favorite. Like derps. 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 A nice pair of derps. Derps. That's an Australian term. Yeah, derps. All right. I I, uh, I feel dizzy from the crackling. Like, yeah. You haven't even got your earphones on. Yeah, to turn you on and get me. photographed like that. Someone in Washington. Was, I mean, not a turn on. It was. I felt comfortable. It was fun. 
They sat in front of a big, giant bowl of Rice Krispies and poured the milk in before the show ended. <laughs> it's like Pop Rocks. It's almost good. It's almost good. <laughs> yeah. Remember yeah. Pop Rocks? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're great, aren't they? Killed Mikey, remember? If you, if you have Coke with them, you die. <laughs> Plus it's not. Right. Right, we're, we gotta go. For like five yeah. grams. Right, well, you die anyway. It has nothing here. to do with the candy. Jeffrey's uh, horrible ending to uh, some fine radio. We'll see you next Thank time. you for having me. I'll be back in, I guess, four or five months. Yes, You're very welcome. welcome. See you again. Very welcome back. We're not doing it today, but line, line of the day would have been brought to you by BodogFantasySports.net. Sorry. Oh, it's, it's always uh, fantasy won. baseball. Go to BodogFantasySports.net. I would have won. I know it. You what? think? Who won? I Who think, won? yeah, there was a line that you said that I actually said in line of the day. Hey, isn't the French Prime Minister's Mrs. fucking great? Yeah, the old. Uh, she just, oh, yeah. yeah what's like, that about? She was like, she posed nude and shit. She used to be a. Mo she's dynamite. Yeah, guys uh, dig her, I guess. And he's in the hospital? Over there. With a chest infection? Yeah. Really? Filthy French. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's gone. It's gone. No, it's back. Do you want to play the, the, just the winner real quick? Who won? Anthony. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, let's funny. hear it. All right, let's no, hear it. Then we might as well just. No, I on. think we ought to hear. And now your line of the day. What was your scoutmaster's name? <laughs> no, I just... I ben know, Anna. Just, just, go get your fucking... Fudgy wudgy buzz! <laughs> ben uh, Anna. Thank you. Ben uh, Anna. That was from uh, Bull Thank Fantasy you. Sports, done it. Well, that, that table is still all fucking ganky. Yeah, no. We were, we were heading toward an A-plus show, but the technical problems uh, knocks us down to an A. Uh, sorry, I think yesterday was better. I'm sorry. Well, yesterday, yesterday I had guys eating shit. Just a guy being afraid of banana. Yeah, that's an A-plus. Yeah, I don't know. I walked in here and it was like, Robert Kelly had no clothes on. It was <laughs> yeah. weird. Hey, Lily, real fast. Uh, during the photo shoot, did it all get hard? Um, I don't know. I hope not. He well, does you know, have hold a, on, though. He does have a crush on you. We're, yeah. we're, wondering what the, we're wondering what the fuck is up with Earl and his sexuality now. He gets to, like, take these sexy shots of you, right? Did, yeah. Did, was there any clue that he was getting turned on by this? No, because uh, he wasn't saying anything. I was uh, like, you have to tell me, you know, how you want it. And I kept teasing him, like, how do you want it, Daddy? How do you want it? And he just wouldn't. Oh, um, my God. Just, I just kept teasing him. You, you should have said, do how do you want daddy it? Happy. I don't like the Daddy one. Well, Lily, you know who else was there? Any the man who asked a girl um, to call him Daddy is a fucking people, sick bastard. Was, was your boyfriend there? No. Wow, your boyfriend wasn't there? Was he and you were half naked with a black man. Was no. he jealous? No. Did he get you turned on to go oh, home Earl? and see him? Yeah. He just wants copies of the pictures. Really? Yeah. Well, Are they going to be posted anywhere? Why does he just physically look at you naked? Um, probably. <laughs> yeah? He does. Pictures you, are hot. You know, but I don't need pictures as well. I yeah, know. a lot of guys are probably going to be jacking off to those pictures. Me. Did you, uh, it's true. did you roll this into a fine fantasy with your boyfriend? Tell him how you, how close you came to taking that big black cock of his up your, uh... Big black... <laughs> Earl? Yeah. No. He's so... F Fucking white inside. He's probably got a little <laughs> three inch black cock of yours up your <laughs> arches. <laughs> Lily, you're a good sport for putting up with this. Oh, I love it. No, nah, she don't give a shit. You're very no, beautiful. Thank you. Look at her. She's rocking around in slippers for fuck's sake. She they're she's boots. Slippers. They're boots, not slippers. Slippers just slip on your feet. No, like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't see any fucking laces or a zip. You just put them on, don't you? I do slip them on. You but do slip they're them not on. Slippers. All right. There's no way to end this. Hard to believe you're single, Jim. You don't know how to talk about our slippers. It's the way I talk to women. They love me. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I abuse them and then cry and go, Oh, I was molested in the corner. That was, yeah, it's, it's, that's, a, that's the first date. In a corner. <laughs> oh, really? It was uh, in a corner? Yeah. We really yeah. gotta go, unfortunately. Smash a banana into my head and call me bitch. <laughs> I'm out of here. Thanks guys, for having thank me. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta end guys. this fucking show. All right, uh, I'll see you on uh, Monday. Toilet. Great show. Right. It was fine. It was, it was fine. fine. Right. It's all right. Unexpected yeah. mystery ending. It was fine. I'm gonna be in Seattle. <laughs> right, I think it's right. gone, Nick. Later, man. Right, thanks.